So, yesterday, we found that I can kill the cute doll FOEs, I believe? She's not there, so it's a perfect <laughs> Right, right, the party member participation. Right. I bet there's like... It's like a- it's the same thing with how I felt with Persona 2, is like, no amount of explaining made me understand. I just had to figure it out. I just had to figure out what to do on my own, and then once I realized, I was like, oh, this is fine. Some mechanics I figured out in the final dungeon, but... <laughs> I am now equipped with the knowledge for the future. If and when I ever play Persona 2 Eternal Punishment again, to see uh, Nanjo's side, I will know exactly what to do. Hey, you learn new things all the time. Like, uh, you don't get money in this game by killing stuff. You get money from selling the things they drop. <laughs> Which is something. Uh, you know what I forgot to do? Oh my god, Val barked. Uh, I forgot to see who had... Who gave Dragon Cry as, like, their card. Because I want to get rid of Assault Shot. After over a hundred hours, I'm learning this, yes. I'm going to grab my phone. It was charging behind me, but I'm gonna move it closer. I can look this up. Actually? I mean, I'm still gonna move it over here. Maze of Life is the best theme song. But we can't listen to it every time I launch the game. I don't know why I'm not looking it up over here. I have- I- I can click off the screen. Whoa! What did I do? <laughs> Get back down there. Uh... Sora Q... Skill cards. Honestly, it'd be easier if I looked it up on this than my phone, because I have an ad blocker. Where is Dragon Cry? Is there even a persona that gives Dragon Cry? Yes. Koryu. Well, I'll just acquire that normally. Val, stop barking! What are you doing? Val, come here. We must hear it. Sometimes I'm- I'm like, yeah, we'll- we'll hear it out, but it's not every time. Do I even- do I actually have Koryu on me right now? No. <laughs> I feel that. I've- I have, um, intentionally manipulated- because Disgaea has something similar. Uh, a character does not get EXP for participating in the fight. Instead, or right, or like showing up on the screen. In Disgaea, um, a character gets EXP for killing something or participating in a um, group attack or dual attack, whichever you want to call it. Um, but they get less. Healers have a shit time of getting EXP in that game, especially in 1 and 2 because the only EXP they can get 
is either from killing things or from healing people. And in one, I don't even think you get hardly anything for healing people. So it was very imperative that I taught my uh, healers magic, like mage spells, which is actually easier to do in one than in two. At least I felt that. <laughs> Because if they didn't have, uh, if they didn't have, like, a, an attack, the only XP they got was from healing people, and that's, like, I want to say it's not even 100 EXP to heal. Yeah, stand up next to a strong attacker is another method. <laughs> but what I did for one and two, I think, is that I, or no, two doesn't have the mentor system, does it? Um, what I did in one was I just made a mage, like a wind mage, my healer's mentor. So that way he would learn, he would be able to cast, um, wind when standing next to them. And then eventually would just learn it on his own and then could cast wind and he'd have, um, an attack spell. There's three of them, but they aren't that scary. All right, here I go. <laughs> Just call him like five different things. Call him his by his persona one last name. <laughs> oh, you mean <laughs> that went disappointingly fast. You'll get to Disgaea two someday. Disgaea two is so much fun. I definitely, I definitely think um, Alice helped me a lot with some of the skills that they had. Some of there's, like, some characters actually have atrocious skills, um, so you have to, like, put specific equipment on them. Like, it was that the samurai had this move where solo targeting attacks did more damage, but their best weapon was the sword, and other than one skill, none of the sword skills were single target. So, it was like, if you're gonna make a, a samurai, give them an axe. I was like, okay. <laughs> and it worked out. <laughs> Ninjas having really high evasion rate, um, you'd put, like, the speed weight on them, which permanently... If you have a weight on a character in Disgaea, they're, like, permanently in critical health. And the ninja's ability being that its evasion goes through the roof when at critical health meant that you could roll a pretty good dice that they would never die ever. The only problem is, is that if they did die, the, rate, the weight broke and you'd have to buy a new one. It's a trade-off. I should have killed the old doll one first, but we'll, sure, we'll be in here. We'll go in here. You should be able to defeat this one. Let's we set up on him. <coughs> Shh. Oh. oh, no, you just defend. Now, we know that sure, Tensei can do a lot of damage, but this asshole likes to cast Mamudo. Leave it to me. It's no use. Go, Izanagi no Okami. The Disgaea games have so much to them. Like I can't believe I played most of 3 and all of 4 without knowing hardly anything. The protagonist does not have a sub persona on. That one's weak against electricity. I have just realized cannot emergency equip one mid-fight either, so this is unfortunate. <laughs> there. Yeah! You could very easily get, um, the normal or the good ending, for those that have more than one. Um, 
really Impossible. easily, but like some Marcus of the bad endings, especially in Her four, it was like beat the previous Madness stage Day. using only Valva Torres at at least level 500, and it's like, yeah, that's not. No one's gonna stumble into that ending. There's no way. Even if they did get everyone to level 500, they're not gonna have the awareness to know that you had to beat the entire stage only with Valva Torres. He needs to heal. Please don't. Uh, she has quadruple link, but she'd need to dragon cry. You know what? She'll only get one attack in, I think. Yeah, she'll only get one attack in, but I'm gonna make her do it. If it doesn't Mamudo this turn, and they'll make her flame link and have everyone attack. Except for Yosuke, because he needs to heal. She might just die anyway. Okay, normal attack, that's totally fine. Get panicked. It's no use. Damn it. Senpai, your defense has been reduced. You'll take more damage. Sure, just do that. Um Medi Rahan Flame Link. Tempest Slash. Oh, she hit it too. This is perfect. She might be dead. She is dead. That's the risk that we take. Yes! Persona. And that's why Shura Tensei or Gia Mode Dragon Cry and any Link skill with Quadruple Link or Infinite Link immediately dead. We only lost Aegis from that. Up. The next fight's not far off. And we don't really need EXP, we just need money. So it's okay that Aegis died, because I can just bring her back the next random encounter. There's a power spot up ahead. The only thing Maybe that would ruin there. this. <laughs> like, out. the only thing that would ruin it is Look if it uses out. Mamudo before <laughs> I guess is done setting up and she dies. <laughs> Just attack it. It's back. And it's back. I need to put a sub persona on the protagonist. I keep forgetting to do that. Rahan exists in Persona 1, but it's not that great because many Rama still heals for more. Yeah, that's how I felt in Q2. Healing hands kind of like nulls the need for Medi Rahan. I made the mistake of giving of giving Diorama and Medi Rahan to Yosuke because I knew I was going to use healing hands, so the recarm would heal for more. So I should really only have Diorahan and Medi Rama. Because eventually it's not gonna be a full heal. Because people will just be such a high level that it won't mean anything. Hachiman? Maybe. It's weak to electricity. Oh no, uh... Probably want to do Trumpeter, actually. Because of... Wrong button. 
I keep forgetting. I look at my thing and I go, this is the 3DS. I should be pressing X, but no, I've remapped everything. <laughs> I've remapped everything. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lethargy Circle Binding Hands. Yes, yes, yes. That's a that's another thing. I'm gonna try that. You don't remember if four had cloud saves? If not, you'd have to start over whenever you replay. I think it does. It doesn't on PS3, but if it's complete plus, I know it I know it has cloud saves for Switch. At least I believe so. Not that there's really Unless you're not locked into Nintendo, then that's kind of like null. PS4 it definitely has cloud saves, so better comparison than the Switch. Because <laughs> Complete Plus is also on the PS4, but... You wouldn't be doing... Oh, it's Promise Revisited, so it's not Complete Plus. Well, Complete Plus is basically a Promise Revisited. Um, It should. For all intents and purposes, it really, it should. <laughs> I only want to say that the PS3 version doesn't because, is because I don't. Oh no, wait. No, yeah, it, ha it, it kind of has to because it's <coughs> the intrinsic nature of how you save on a PlayStation 3. <laughs> it doesn't save directly onto the disc, so it's gotta store that save data somewhere. Yeah, no, it, it should. Petting the dog. Also, what is it? Oh, yeah. Hi. No cause for concern. I think she... She needs to open with Shura Tensei, no matter what, because that <coughs> lasts infinite. But if she Dragon Cries or Gia Modes first, by the time she does Shura Tensei, she'll run out of one or the other. So, yeah. Here I go! It's no use. Damn it. If one or the other lands, that'll be awesome. That one's weak against electricity. I wave. She's still faster. She's going to dragon cry. Oh. She's going to Orgia mode, actually. Well, wait, no. No, 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 no. She is going to dragon cry. Oh. Persona, rise up. Then I'm not sure. Crush up, caster. Missed. Oh, yeah. If one of these lands. Senpai, your defense has been reduced. You'll take more damage. He needs to heat riser again. I have no idea. You need to heal though. She dragon cried, right? Oh, please don't let this kill her. That would really suck if she just died. Or mode. 
possible nope, it to killed her. Fighting. That sucks. So Dragon Cry does need to be last, so the Flame Link will just kill. That's super unfortunate. I guess is down. She can't move. Oh right, body shield doesn't work. Remember that. Body shield does not work on insta kill, so just don't bother. <laughs> The fear. Come on, get that off. Come, Yamato Kikaru. Impossible. He's not in a whole coming. Missed. Persona. Missed. Damn. Too easy. Not great, but that's fine. have a choice. Try this again. Persona! Persona! Nice. She's cursed, too, so that's gonna really suck. Yosuke-senpai is cursed! Oh, never mind, it's if fine. If he attacks, he'll take damage! I take back everything I dish out? Really? Yeah, it's fine, though. Don't worry about it. He's gonna move. Uh -huh. We'll see how this goes. Possibility would be It's no use. Hey Mark. I guess his Orgia mode is amazing. Her power has dramatically increased. Full power. She's sure tensate and Orgia. She'll dragon cry. After this, it should be fine. Because... Yosuke's moving first. Unless it... Curses! Or does an insta-kill, which then that would... Blow, but... Ah. Uh, yeah, that would also make it a little harder! Now she's moving first. It would be awesome if we could get her to live to the end of these, but I don't think she does. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Don't die. Oh! We take that. Impossible. We take that indeed. In fact, leader's killing to spotlight Yosuke so she lives to the end of this. I want to see her live to the end of this. Come, 
No Agnuses will die today. Please don't miss. Damn it. That's super unfortunate. That's like really bad, actually. Emulator, you okay? Oh my god, he's going to hit this. <laughs> And she's gonna run out of Orgia mode this it's turn no too. I am at my limit. I guess it's overheated. She won't be able to move for a while. Shit, that's not Down. good. Just keep doing what you've been doing. It's all good. <laughs> Go, Hello, Alice. Oh my god, he's gonna crit again. Please don't die. Good. <laughs> Shinjiro-san, you've been cursed. Attack and you'll hurt yourself. Curse someone and you dig two graves. I want to see, like, really badly. Wait, is it Death Needle? Yes. I wanna see if while panicked I can get this agility bind off. Yes! Now you can't dodge shit. Ow. <laughs> Honestly, it can't dodge. Go, go, Hit it with the free Megidolon. Why not? Persona. Okay, she's back. She still has sure Tensei. That... Not that that means anything. Panicked, but no longer bound. That's not great. Yeah, just flame link. Go, Izanagi no Okami. <laughs> nope, that's Masuki. Oh, that's the fun. Of the battle are compiled. And it's random encounter, right? So it's like there's an RNG determined. <laughs> Actually, do I need to do that? No, I don't. I can just run back and forth right here. Can't run into enemies randomly in this room, which is super convenient. Yeah, because like... Later Tales of Games, like, Symphonia didn't have it. I thought it did. I, I always forget whether or not it does, but I was like, yeah, no. They do a tutorial for it. That if an, if an enemy on the field hits, like, comes into contact with the character from, like, behind them, it initiates a, uh, do you wanna try? enemy There's advantage. No and it completely scrambles who's in your party, and it's like, oh, that's cool. 
it's not the end of the world, but it can be very disorienting if you've got, like, a mage, a healer, and two sword people, and then it shuffles everyone, so that way neither of your sword people are in the party, and you're just like, oh... <laughs> But the best part about that is that you can also get advantages over the enemies if you encounter them from behind. Dragonfly lasts three turns. She sure tenses with two left. She orgias with one left. She should be able to land a flame link before her dragon cry wears off, and she gets an extra turn in orgia mode. We'll try that. And if Panic Circle lands, we're lethargy circling after that. Impossible. Take this. Tanagi no Okami. Persona. Crush him, caster. That one's weak against electricity. See, now her next turn, she's gonna Orgia mode and take damage, but Yosuke can just heal her. Oh, speaking of Markunda, I should do that. Okay, cool. Senpai, your defense has been reduced. You'll take more damage. Yeah, she takes damage, but he heals her. Land this, please. Nice. It's possibly dead this turn. Yeah, it's probably gonna die. There's no way. Is there, it's not avoiding any of these attacks, and quadruple link means everyone's gonna trip it. All Shinji doesn't even have to move. It doesn't even get to be his turn, and we kill it. Okay, please, Koru. We want that. He's the one that gives Dragon Cry. That's not Koru. How many persona do we have? 13. Well, we don't need, like, the Suki or Kali. Now we just run back and forth.
How's everyone? I guess it needs a little more HP. <laughs> Paths of light, everyone. <laughs> Although, I can stack it with... Where is he? Where's Uriel? Oh wait, does she already have it? Hold on. Did I give it to her? Or did I just randomly forget why I kept Uriel? Oh my god, did I get rid of her? Hope I didn't. <laughs> I thought I... I must have and not realized it? Shit. I ran out of space. Okay. Yeah, no, I don't have paths of light anymore. First person dungeon crawling tends to make you feel dizzy or nauseous. I feel that. I understand. This walking back and forth while we talk about that in a first person dungeon crawler probably doesn't help. But I need to get Ix's HP back up. <laughs> should be. Yes, that's enough. <laughs> Hi. You should be able to defeat this one. Well, we could probably kill it. Power charge this turn. Turn Tensei. And a slash. Go, Yamato Kato. Nice. He's not going to hold me. Crush him, caster. A little scary. Nice. Senpai, your defense has been reduced. You'll take more damage. Oh. Orgia mode. <laughs> she takes damage. She's boosted, so she goes next. Yosuke heals, and it's A-OK. -okay. Damn it. Crush him, caster. Stay panicked, please. I guess his Orgia mode is amazing. Her power has dramatically increased. Power at maximum capacity. This should do. Persona. GG. Now all of these attacks are going to hit because it's panicked. I love how the link ties into the fact that she's Shura Tensei or Gear Mode. So it does a thousand damage. I don't need Atavaka. If only all opponents were this easy. I guess you have to be careful. That's you appear to be in pain. What four now? Yeah, I've killed four. Oh, 
honestly, easier if he just healed. I guess, and then we walked around until everyone got topped off, and just constantly moving, waiting for I guess to heal. Cause I don't have paths of light, I only have alleys. It's covered of Uriel again. Easy, done. That took like no time at all. You should be able to defeat this one. Well, we could probably kill it. Really lucky with these panic circles. Tempest Slash. Summoning Athena. Yamato Kakeru. Impossible. Take this. Tsunaki no Oka. Blast them, caster. That makes sense. Sometimes you'll do that. I, I realized that, that that was something I could do in Persona 2. <laughs> okay, it's not panicked, and that really, really sucks. Hopefully, panic will land this turn. Because it's really scary to have Iga set up and not have a guarantee that this move is going to hit. <laughs> Hey, that's gonna be no Crush up, caster. That's easy. fine. Land. No. I guess his orgia mode is amazing. Her power has dramatically increased. Power at maximum capacity. This is very not good. She's gonna try a flame link, and there's a chance that she's gonna miss. And it's not gonna mean anything. Please hit. Thank you. Now I need at least two or three attack skills to land. Hits, I believe it's dead. Nope. Ah, that was close. Oh, and then it gets panicked, of course. Senpai, if you attack now, you'll be damaged too. <laughs> Honestly. <There. It's> so <laughs> <cool>. Yeah. <laughs> not need Baron, but it's stronger than Kali, so it'll give more EXP when I sacrifice it. Good, we won. Let's continue to work hard. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven FOEs left in this room. And it's going pretty well. Probably kill it. A 
Hello, Aria Symphonia. There's something else. I need a specific persona at the moment. That's a lot of clothes to get, yes. <laughs> I just like how when you kill this FOE, the clothes that you get is the clothes that's on the little doll that's... <laughs> Up on the very top of it. <laughs> that one's weak against electricity. This should be fine. Impossible. Take this. Tanagi no Oka. Crush up, caster. It's defense. That's a little concerning, but not that concerning. Impossible. Senpai, your defense has been reduced. You'll take more damage. I would really like Panic to land after this turn. There's a chance this is missing. Okay, don't miss yours, please. You're power charged. No! Too easy. Yes! It's so dead. There's no way. I wonder... I mean, he should. He really should. Okay. It's dead. Go, <laughs> I'm just healing so I don't have to do it out of the fight. <laughs> and he's gonna crit too, that's beautiful. <laughs> Belfagor. It's not what I wanted. <laughs> Don't get too worked up. The next fight's not far off. one right here. Okay. <laughs> Does that work too? Kinda. <laughs> this is faster. Pressing the bumpers to move side to side is faster. Okay. Hi! <laughs> you get to die next. <laughs> Yes, we are. The panic circle is to just increase my odds of beating this as soon as possible. She's probably never gonna not have on your key. Unless I wanna put Dragon cry naturally. I, I kind of think, I kind of think that I should just have. I should either choose whether to give her the skill card for dragon cry, or I should give her, like, something with quadruple or infinite link. 
and then a link skill. Because that's that's where Orgia Mode Shura Tensei is terrifying. Chip damage in at the start. <laughs> Go, double come to carry. Impossible. Go, it's an ugly no old coming. Crush him, caster. It's no use. Okay. This is not the turn where I want it to land anyway, so it doesn't really matter. It's this turn. It's after this turn that I want it to hit it get hit with panic. Else I roll a really big die on whether or not Flame Link hits. <laughs> Mode is amazing. <laughs> Why do you think we're using it? And the battle is over. Koru, please. I don't need that. I literally just threw that away. <laughs> Fine. He has Diorama and healing hands. Oh, yeah. I could, yes. But if I don't have to. Then when I go into the Velvet Room, I could just use a Sacrifice Spread to level it up to what I need. And then spend money to take the Skill Card, because that's all I need Koryu for. Koryu's Skill Card, when you extract it from him, is Dragon Cry. And I would like that on Shinjiro. Because Shinjiro is really fucking slow. And also he's super strong, but Dragon Cry makes characters like Kanji and Igus more useful. Because he's doing like 600 damage normally, and Kanji without Dragon Cry does like 300, 400. But with Dragon Cry, he raises his attack and moves first. Kanji does like a thousand damage, even more if they're weak to electricity. Which is a lot more viable currently. <laughs> so that's, that's why I want Koryu. Where is the next one? There's one right here. There's two right there. Okay, so there's only like five left. It's an FOE, but I think you can defeat it. We should be able to defeat it. Also, he already has power charge too, so it's like more things I can combine alongside Dragon Cry. <laughs> I want to see how much damage he deals. Because as far as I know, there isn't... As far as as the examples that have been laid out before us, there is not a soft cap to how much damage a character can do. Wow. First try. That's pretty good. 
It's going to get out of it next turn or so. It's RNG whether or not it recovers. So I may just try to land this. Super useful. Okay, good. Panic, please. Or get lethargy circled. Nope, it recovered. This is not increased. good. Power at maximum capacity. Because this is when I need them to. I, this is when I need their skills to land. Don't die! That's not what we want to see! <laughs> That's why I had him be a Rama! Oh, where that move hits. Agility bound. Kill it. <laughs> I'm taking a risk and hoping that 465 is enough to not kill Igus. <laughs> yeah, she takes like 300 damage. How many do I have to kill? Until I have all the money that for the stuff that I want. Dragon Cry is gone though, so it's not doing as much damage. Uh, this is so sad. It's still dead, I think, this turn or the next. But only 950 as opposed to 1300. Why? I don't want Usuki! <laughs> Good, we won. Let's continue to work hard. And then we do the shuffle. We hold the left bumper and then right bumper back and forth. Because it's faster and it's, I'm less likely to accidentally turn around when, than, as opposed to using the D-pad. Which, by the way, the left stick I never mapped, so it does nothing. Not unless I hold B. Which I think is actually how the, it is in, uh... On the 3DS, the the stick doesn't do anything. You can only move with the with the D-pad, which is fine. How are we doing? Yeah, a little more. 
Honestly, I wonder if it would be faster for Yosuke to just use D Rahan and then we heal up his SP. Okay, where is one? There are two here, yes. Uh, you. It's an FOE, but I think you can defeat it. We should be able to defeat it. I like Roads of Light. It's probably one of my favorite <laughs> skills. Snake Glare is very good too. It's probably the most useful. But. Yosuke, more like Strain. That one's weak against electricity. Defend. Sure, a Tensei. And you start Tempest Slashing. <laughs> also, it immediately got panic, which is a little scary, because it may war it may wear off. <laughs> Well, you stay panicked for like two turns. Impossible. Nope. Just why would it, honestly? I just need to hope that he gets panicked again. Impossible. Or we risk the 50-50. <laughs> Please land this. Impossible. I guess his Orgia mode is amazing. Her power has dramatically increased. I shall attack relentlessly. That's great. Please land this flame link. <laughs> Yes! Now, somebody needs to hit the second one. That way we get the extra thousand damage. Yeah, like that. It's no use. And she's gonna get how much better? Uh, she may be just set. <laughs> Honestly. Impossible. Dragon Cry is gone. If you attack now, you'll be damaged too. But it's probably dead no matter what I do. So just heavy shot. As she levels up, she's definitely gonna get strong. Right, even though Dragon Cry wore off, she was boosted. <laughs> I always forget to account for that. Can I stop getting Vasuki, please? <laughs> the results of the battle are compiled. There's only three left. I've after after those three die, I will have completely wiped this room of cute doll FOEs. Oh, okay, cool. Hi. <laughs> uh <laughs> Let me do it this way. <laughs> that way it doesn't bounce in our it doesn't like jump in our face. Words that are synonymous with one another, but are, but don't. One just does not work. <laughs> you can beat this one now. Do you want to try? But yeah, uh, killer. one shot bosses. I wanna. <laughs> I wanna see just how bad it gets. I wanna do this to the boss. <laughs> like. 
His assistance on the side will heal him, but I want to try setting up and then seeing <laughs> if I can just kill this, kill the doctor without having to get rid of the nurses. <laughs> I'm horrendously curious, because I do believe the one of them buffs him and the other one heals him. So it's like the objective, I believe it's the pink nurse you need to kill first. <laughs> but I don't think they know anything like body shield, so you could probably... Because <laughs> there's no gimmick like the uh, priest. Yes, also I'm sneezing, thank you. I'm glad I found. Oh. I'm glad I found the correct order to set Igus up in. Dragon crying Athena. first makes the most sense. I don't know why I was thinking I had a sure tensei first. Because that just sets her up for failure. I'm curious if. Crush him, caster. Does can you stack moves like Heat Riser? Pollen. Senpai, your defense has been reduced. You'll take more damage. There are two different allergy seasons, and both hit me really hard. You got pollen. And then you have mold. Which isn't really a season, oh, that's just kind of always. But I'm allergic to mold. Go, Impossible. Go, mold is not usually good for people, period, but... Going outside after it had rained for a handful of days usually does not destroy people. Like it does me. <laughs> Well, I this one's dead. <laughs> oh, seven. Cute doll. Come, Yamato Takeru. This is what the FOE is named, though, right? The one with the blue, the blue clothes is the old doll. You're done here. <laughs> cute baby was a thing. Yeah, that oh FOE is called cute baby, which I. Disagree. Oh my god. This persona really they really really want me to have this persona. Don't get too worked up. The next fight's not far off. Oh, I can just walk the full length of this hallway without running into anything, because there's only two FOEs in here left. There are five in the room adjacent to us. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Down there, and then there's the old doll. But I think... I think you can run into stuff in this room. Oh, no, no you can't. Okay, cool. Then we'll kill those two. Right? Yeah. <laughs> And we'll throw away- if we run out of space, we'll probably get rid of these. Because they don't sell for much compared to the other two. <laughs> Hi. You should be able to defeat this one. Mm -hmm. We should be able to defeat it. I agree. Here I go. 
Oh yeah, I can just look. Whoa, turn one? Okay. Oh, it's lovely doll. Never mind. That one's weak against electricity. It's a lovely doll, not cute doll. I don't think this thing is particularly all that lovely either, but when it gets panicked on turn one. Because I... If it gets cured by turn two, no one can use this to their advantage. Because I'm still setting up. Yeah, they see, there we go. I, everyone basically buffed this turn. The only one who really got to get a hit in was Naoto. It's going flip. Full power. We're still gonna set up for her to use Flame Link, but there's a chance she's gonna miss. Oh, Persona. never mind. Now I just need two or three people to land hits after this, and it's either almost dead or dead. We have done it. I'm pretty sure, yeah. <laughs> uh, pretty sure it's dead. It's Vasuki again, I'll bet. Nope, it's Kali. See, I knew there were other personas that it could give me. It just really wanted me to have Vasuki. Cory, so it's probably that no one is a low enough level that it thinks I, I would want for you. you. To be in pain. Which is unfortunate, because I would actually really like you. Okay, and then we just need to walk around a little bit. Not Vasuki, but still a Hindu deity. And they're both the exact same level. Okay, I'm pretty sure... Yep. Hi! But I think you can defeat it. Well, we could probably kill it. Nope, you don't do anything. Leave it to me. I wonder if if it turn one panics. Go, ah, look. I should just go for the hit for he like Yosuke goes for it. Crush him, caster. I'm still curious if Death Needle, because it doesn't that poison in this game for some reason, um, or whatever it's called, would instantly, like, one-tap this. Yeah, it is Death Needle. In Q2, Death Needle is heavy stab with a chance of poison. This one is heavy stab, low chance, insta-kill, higher with ailment. And I'm like, okay. Okay, sure, Tensei. Also, if you were worried, yeah, Taku on mic violence. I banged my elbow onto the boot arm. That's what happened. <laughs> Go for the hit. Like I went for it with the mic. I didn't mean to hit the mic. <laughs> so I have to go for the Marakunda. Please stay panicked. Impossible. Woo. Unfortunately, we're not ready to hit it. 
And Yosuke can't go for another attack because she needs to be a mode. Keep going or be a mode. No, it's fine. The go, mic is fine. The What? This thing's still panicked, so it's dead. <laughs> Rise up. That was beautiful. Come yeah, now Toe's gonna get it killed. There's no way. Yeah. The battle is over. And that's the last FOE in this room. Hello again, Kali. I still would rather have Koryu, but I think he's like level 50 something, so it's not gonna give it to me, I don't think. I may have to spend money to pull it out of the compendium if I can't fuse it. I guess I'd prefer not to. You appear to be in pain. There is one thing I can check. How many items do I have? 23, most of them being red clothes. Because there were. There were 12 FOEs in here, if I'm counting right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, there were 12 in here. There were 12 FOEs in here. Do I kill the five in here and then go for the old one? Yes. The answer is yes. Especially since you don't run into enemies in these rooms. You should be able to defeat this one. It's no cause for concern. Here I go. I love it. Ah, shit. Turn one panic. Persona. Do I go for the hit, or do I try to mark Kunda first? Uh... Maybe easy. I should just go for the hit. That one's weak against electricity. Cause he has Heat Riser, and... Yeah, I'll just go for the hit. Try to land some stuff. Come on, cool. Lots of crits. Ah, no crit. <laughs> Sad. It's no use. Turn. She or he is. Activating or he mode. If it keeps panic this turn, that'll be really good. Like after this turn. Persona. Wonderful. Go, you do not need all coming. Crush him, caster. Impossible. Yeah, that would. I guess his Orgia mode is amazing. Her power has dramatically increased. Shoot. Power at maximum capacity. Shoot. Don't miss. Persona. 
Oh, she might have missed. Yeah, she missed. It's always sad when it misses. smile is whatever. It's no use. Yosuke Senpai is cursed. If he attacks, he'll take damage. I take back everything I dish out? Really? Just go for a heavy shot. Go, Izanagi no Okami! When you do all that setup and it doesn't land, that that's that's unfortunate. Okay, she got a hit in and it did a thousand, and he's gonna crit <laughs> light wave. Ow! Just as I calculated. Oof. Well, it had to happen eventually. I guess it's overheated. She won't be able to move for a while. Cooling down. Luckily, I have Yomi return, and that's all. I don't need to do anything else. If we kill it, we kill it, which is good. That's what we want. Protect them, Kanzian. Come, Yamato Takeru. We want the boat. Ah, uh, Takaja. <laughs> Incredibly situational ability. Okay, don't. We don't bother. We're not gonna bother with bringing Shinji back this turn. We need to do more chip damage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, this is hitting. Will it kill, though? It knows Bufu dying? It's so close. Just die, please. Don't use Mamudo again. I will be mad at you. Okay, good. Let me just get. <laughs> Senpai, if you attack now, you'll be damaged too. Hmm. I have an idea. <laughs> She's still in Shura Tensei, so... Increase her accuracy. Land! Yeah! I took the risk, and it was worth it. Is it Kali or Vasuki? Because if it's... Either of them, I don't need them. I don't want them. <laughs> the results of the battle are compiled. Four red clothes. <laughs> yes, you give us coins. Yes, we're in front of coins. And we're like, that's fine. We're just gonna give it back to you when we buy stuff. And he's like, huh? What do you mean? Because I guess armor version 100 is a goal that I have in mind. Okay, this should be good. Yes. We have 24 of 60. <laughs> and most of that is red clothes. <laughs> Hi. Probably kill her. Oh. 
It's his fault for not implementing your debit cards. Impossible. But yeah, money is a huge issue in this game. I'm always, I'm always, I like. <laughs> I immediately started out with several million and then spent it all on armor because obviously I never really used any Persona 4 character that wasn't Naoto. I used Yukiko as well, but I wanted to use different people. And I technically am still. Three out of the five people here are people that I'm not going to use. And I want to see what nonsense I can add to meet Suru and that that will be my final team. Because obviously Naoto isn't as effective against bosses, but clearing out rooms, because most things at best resist insta-kills, combined with her impure reach, means that the likelihood of it working is really high. She's just a very good, like, I don't really want to fight anything. And I definitely used that in you know, a pride exhibit. And in the clock tower. <laughs> it's just a thing. That I ended up doing. <laughs> it is time. Athena. But I guess basically has the setup. The only thing that would be better for her is if she had infinite link. <laughs> Mitsuru nonsense armor. <laughs> Sounds like you want a fur coat. That's the that's the part that's kind of funny. Uh, her best armor is called Empress Fur. <laughs> oh. Senpai, your defense has been reduced. You'll take more damage. As we're doing this, she's basically set up too. Activating ordeal mode. She's very helpful in normal encounters, because the entire encounter can boil down to, okay, everyone kill the one thing that is immune to the insta-kill that I'm going to use, everything else is probably going to die. Impossible. She's a good level grinding that would be a better one. Full power. All right. It's dying this turn. Or it might not. Hopefully it doesn't. It hopefully it does actually. Oh, I could have make a deal on. Summoning oh, no, yeah, that it's hidden. None of those hit. That's unfortunate. This is going to, though. And just in case it doesn't die... <laughs> it's all up to you, Shinji! No! He missed! <laughs> Luckily, I don't think it matters. Oh, now it definitely doesn't matter. <laughs> Like, I, th I think it dies here with the heavy shot. Hello again, Kali. Like, Onyoki is good because of quadrupling. But I believe it's Thanatos. Thanatos has infinite link, and I don't know if that has to be stacked. Or if it's, like, isolated. It's a cool look. For subscribing with the Prime. Enjoy your emotes. Eight months. 
Wow. just gifted 10 subs to the community they went to aria symphonia extreme 87879 metropolis 12 kinishi i believe westy wind just unknown fairy cat glass this soldans 85 mad alice enjoy your emotes everyone <laughs> who got a gift sub oh my goodness <laughs> Thank you, Days. That's very nice of you. <laughs> what does Infinite Link do? How convenient that I still have the uh, thing. Infinite Link. Raise damage dealt with first number of hit and number of link. So basically what it does is, is it's quadruple link, but the damage that the link attack does is higher innately. Because link is a light move. It's like a light physical of some variety paired with an element. So the damage for doing like double link, triple link, and quadruple link is that the link damage when somebody else attacks is higher than the initial hit from using like flame link, which is what I guess has. But with Infinite Link, it does- the- the actual attack itself does more damage, as well as the Link damage based on how many times it procs being higher innately. And I don't know if that means that it's like quadruple Link but stronger, or if it needs to be paired. And also, Chiyu, which is level 87, has it. And whereas there's another one here who has it. I know Thanatos has it. I think Thanatos is up higher though. Or he's lower. Where are you, Thanatos? I saw you in here. Yeah, Thanatos has it, and he's level 70. Thanatos and Chiyu give it as like a skill card for some reason. Koryu is level 73. But yeah, that's what we're looking at. There are only three of these guys left. You can beat this one now. Do you want to try? We should be yes. able to defeat it. <laughs> should put either a link skill that one's weak against electricity. or quadruple link as a skill card on I guess and then give her a sub persona that has infinite link so Thanatos or Chiyu would be ones that have it but I'm certain there are others that have the skill they just don't give it as a skill card when you sacrifice them for it We shall see. I'd also want Dragon Cry, which is why I'm wondering if I should give Dragon Cry to Igus as well, and then either do Infinite Link. Or, or I could just go and see if there's a game fact. It's no use. Senpai, your defense has been reduced. You'll take more damage. That'll, like, just tell me if it stacks or not, or if it behaves like quadruple link. Well. May as well try to see if this hits. It's not panicked, though, Keep so that's not or be Come on, it off. Come, 
Power Pumpkin and Freddy. Um, they're doing great, actually. They're doing fantastic. Mila is also being herself, and that's good. <laughs> Is there a photo? Was it sent? Oh, this is perfect. Somebody sent a photo. Yeah. There's this like cat bed that looks like an alligator. <laughs> and I'm actually gonna save this photo and crop it because you can see somebody's work computer in the photo. Um. She's on top of our Pac-Man machine. That's not what's important. What's important is this bed that she is sitting in. I'm gonna put it in animal pets on her. And then, so that you may all see those that are not in the Discord. Third kitty? Yes, we've had a third kitty. Mila. So let me put this over here, full screen it, and click on this, and then turn that on. This is Pumpkin. This is the bed she's in. <laughs> Very cute bed. <laughs> she is. <laughs> the bed that she's in is also very cute. It enhances how cute she is. <laughs> she's pretty skittish. Sadly, she doesn't really. I mean, she's a, a sweetheart. I love her so much, but she's very skittish. You should just vibe them. Cats are cute. I like cats. I like my dog as well. He is currently asleep in the other room. different levels of care and kinds of care. Don't get too worked up. I also have to pay the closer attention to cats off. in some to some level. Is there one right there? There is. I won't go all the way so we don't trigger it. I just want to get some SP and HP back. Perfect. Hi. It's an FOE, but I think you can do it. <laughs> it's no cause for concern. Why? Wait, <laughs> I'm used to heat right <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Aww. But, uh... Yes. That's what I, I was actually going to say, though. Like, oh yeah, I was... A couple of days ago, we were talking about... They're called retro pugs. Colloquially. I don't know... I don't think that's, like, the official breed, because I'm pretty sure they're still considered pugs. It's just a type of distinction between the two. People think very different things. 
You know, like, people do not think retro pug when you just say pug. They think the, they think the flat-nosed ones. Oh, he crit. That's beautiful. Now I have to attack, though. <laughs> it's no use. Squish pug versus aerodynamic pug. I'm pretty sure <laughs> retro is easier to understand than aerodynamic pug. <laughs> but that's such a. <laughs> it's just a funny way of like, yeah, <laughs> it's aerodynamic. What does that mean? <laughs> It's no use. I guess has activated her orgiam. Okay, it's unfortunately not panicked anymore, so there's a chance that it's not gonna land. We'll hope that it does. That's all we could ask for. <laughs> Squish pug versus snoot pug. Oh, it landed! Yes! Now, a move or two should land, and that'll be it. It's... Dead this turn. This turn. Yeah, that's it. Hell yeah. One more FOE in here, and then we kill the old doll. But yeah, retro pugs. I think it's that it's a pug crossed with a Jack Russell, which is like. I guess you have to be careful. It's considered the healthiest breed of dog that could be considered purebred, even though Jack Russell in general is not really considered a purebred animal by any stretch of the word. But it just, it basically, a retro pug has not as sharply curled of a tail, so there's no nerve damage there. And it's snout is actually, you know, there, so it doesn't have breathing problems. Or eye issues, or at least as many. They're also still very cute, and they're very- they're still very recognizable as being pugs, they just don't have flat faces. And we like that. We like an animal that is not constantly dying. Just because people wanted it to look a certain way. Crush him, caster. <laughs> that one's weak against electricity. Yeah. There are a number. Uh, it's mostly the small dog breeds, which is so unfortunate. Small, small dog breeds, especially the purebred ones, are just they're prone to so much. And so much of it is just because they liked the way it looked. And it's just like, this poor thing exists because you thought having a flat face was cute. It's like, ugh, can't breathe though. And by eye problems, I'm not gonna go into a bunch of details, but a lot of really small dog breeds, their eyes are too large for their skull. So the eye issue is not eye infections, Impossible. it's dislocation. Oh. 
I don't think we need to have a discussion on why that's really bad for any creature to be prone to such a phenomenon. So how's the grinding going <laughs> along? Yeah, let's change the topic now. Uh, it's going good. For everyone but Shinjiro. <laughs> It's panicked. It's going to die, but I would like Shinji to not be dead for this. Persona, yeah. Enough people are getting it in their heads that we should be, we shouldn't be blind breeding. Or inbreeding or things like that. But it's a, it's a slow crawl. There are still people who are very attached to purebred animals for reasons that I don't even think they themselves can completely explain. Oh yes, the FOE grinding is going very good. Uh, this is the last lovely doll that I'm going to go out of my way to kill. We owe this to your sound. Because I think captain. all of them are dead now. Right? I guess you have to be careful. Yep. You appear to be They are all dead. Um Let's top everybody off. And then I'm going to actually use the go back. So that way I decrease my... I don't have to run into, like, three encounters. I'll probably run into one or two. Yeah, it looks like one. There's three of them, but they aren't that scary. I believe that is a phantom type. I don't know what phantom type means, but okay. Oh, I guess, is it called a phantom? I guess it is. But she calls it the Maya's a slime type, and that's not what they're called. <laughs> oh, I definitely don't need this persona. That went No, don't just fast. make that up, yeah. She's trying to write like a, a like a new section in the uh hey, there's a switch here. Animal Kingdom. <laughs> yeah, I just got kind of. I'm going to. Cr I'm going to dub this. It. It's no cause for concern. Seriously? Ugh. No use. Go, Izanagi no Okami. It is time. Athena. Are you ready? Missed. <laughs> Missed. That enemy is weak. Phantom phylum. Fight him. <laughs> To land. We do fight them. <laughs> Seriously? Come, Yamato Perfection. Hey, there he is. Uh Bye Belfagor. We owe this to your sound tactics. 
My persona's been strengthened. And now she has two impure reaches. I bet they don't stack. Yeah, I was like, I was thinking about it, and I'm like, every time I got him, it was fighting the Yosuke old ball. Kun, your health is getting low. Can you heal? Yes, he can actually. He has plenty. <laughs> now, thirty-three of sixty. Hmm. I wanna fight some more. I still have space. There's three of them, but they aren't that scary. Here I go. Oh, quad and infant link do sec. Okay, perfect. All right, well, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's over. Thank you. That quickly. <laughs> In Q2, we made Shinjiro terrifying. But in this one, it's really more going to be Aegis. <laughs> Hi. And you run into FOEs in here? Or, I'm sorry, regular encounters? You don't. So when there are FOEs, or at least when the lights are off, you don't run into normal encounters. Because I know this, um, south portion here, where we turn on the lights, you can. Because you can run into things while the baby FOE is chasing you. Well. Another lovely doll gets to die. It's an FOE, but I think you can defeat it. It's no cause for concern. Here I go! No use. So, the real question is, is though, because she's out of skills after this, she needs Shura Tensei and Shura Revert. The Shura Revert, just in case it, you know, so she doesn't just die. That was weak against electricity. It's good to use in emergencies. <laughs> Infinite Link have Dragon Cry on them. Onyoki only has it because I used to have it. There's no way to, like, predict that'll be the case. But any persona, any sub persona with a Link skill, like Infinite Link, probably has a Link attack. So I don't need to give her a Link attack, I just need to make sure that she or her sub-persona is fused to have quadruple link, and then that persona will learn infinitely. Or I give her quadruple link, and then get the persona with infinite link. Or the opposite. The number of additional links that each skill needs to add, not the total number of links you can get with each skill alone. Dragon Cry in order to move first, else we don't get the maximum effect out of having a Link skill. Because she's so slow. She's so slow normally. She's our second slowest character. Shinji being the slowest. Which makes sense, but is so unfortunate. Yosuke being the fastest. Which is good. We like when our healers are the fastest. You've no you've probably noticed this out of me if you've been watching Personathon for fairly early. Her 
power has dramatically increased. It's good when the healer is very quick on their feet. If I can manipulate somebody to be the white mage. <laughs> you just looked more at the love emote, the aggressive little smile. <laughs> you feel called out? I'm just thinking about what I did to Ulala. Like, Maya is supposed to be the healer. <laughs> and yet... There was no doubting the efficacy of max agility Ulala casting Meteorama at the start of everyone's turn. <laughs> I did not mean to do that, but honestly, that works. Dragon Cry wears off this turn, though, so that's unfortunate. Too easy. Senpai, if you attack now, you'll be damaged too. Which. We have a solution for. I was like, which is unfortunate, but then I remembered. We have Rise. <laughs> she can just spotlight. Crit. Mm, the dragon cry making the link damage only do 900 as opposed to a thousand hertz. 1,300. Did I draw all the emotes myself? Yes. In fact, some of my um, BTTV emotes that don't like to show up all the time. These three, if they appear, I also drew. They did! Nice. As you can see, once I got affiliate, I remade Lurk and Yay. <laughs> and yes, I made I made some of Daze's emotes. <laughs> Get out of here, Vasuki. I don't need you. <laughs> don't get too worked up. The next fight's not far off. Leader, are you alright? Please be sure to watch your health. Oh yeah, because of the curse. It would have been easier to just use. Yeah, instead of 18, it would have only been 12. <laughs> you can just walk back and forth this way. Without running into that FOE, preferably. 50. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I think with Orgia mode, Dragon. Wait, Dragon Cry, Orgia mode, Shura Tensei. I don't think I need to hit 15. <laughs> Unless I'm on, like. Risky. I think that would be when you would do that, but you can beat this one now. Do you want to try? Well, we could probably kill it. Probably kill it, he says. Persona. Take no Oka. Too easy. That one's weak against electricity. Well, this is a little awkward. He's gonna attack this turn, and I'm gonna make the Yosuke attack this turn, and then she's gonna shoot him so. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty ridiculously broken, but requires lots of investment, too. Yeah, I get the feeling that Q2 did a lot of stuff to, like, change it. I've been raided! 
<laughs> Hello, fairy cat. Hello, Westy Wind. A whole clouder, yes. Let me do this real quick. Impossible. There we go. And do the other one. Nice. How was the Yakuza 4 stream? Perfect West, he has zero notes. Okay. <laughs> no! I don't know for sure about that, but <laughs> I trust it. Some of the fights are difficult. Oh. I see. <laughs> well, hello, everyone. Who came from West Ewan's stream? I am Zutaka the Beast. I play a variety of games. Most, or at least my favorite type, being JRPGs. And I am currently playing Persona Q uh, Shadow of the Labyrinth, I believe is the full title. Uh, for a self inflicted event called Personathon, which has been going on for more than a year now. <laughs> it's very exciting. I am currently, uh, not level grinding, actually, I'm money grinding. What was once Summersona is now just Personathon. Yes. The event itself didn't start until May, but for all intents and purposes, I started Persona 4 Golden in April, so it has been a year. Please land the flame link, I guess. No! This is for money? Yes. I mean, I get EXP at the same time, but... Each set of blue clothes is like 11,000? <laughs> oh, it's dead. <laughs> it's so dead this next turn. If you attack now, you'll be damaged too! Oh, sevens to the lovely doll. Oh, it's 12,000, yeah. <laughs> oh, the dragon cry wearing off means this is not gonna do as much, but it's so, it's no matter what, it's dead. <laughs> it looks like it wants to be dead. Yeah. <laughs> Crush him, caster. And yep. The battle is over. Sure, Tensei or Gia mode flame link with quadruple link passive. <laughs> Hello, Belphegor. I don't need you. Bye. Don't get too worked up. The next fight's not far off. So... Yes. That's <laughs> Meteorama, please. <laughs> um... How many items? 38. 38. Well, let's run around side to side. And good enough. Where's the other FOE in here? <laughs> Hi. You should be able 
This is what we've been doing for the past two hours. <laughs> but it's fine. is not what I want. <laughs> Yesterday, I unfortunately fused him only to immediately fuse him into something else because I'm just trying to fill the compendium. Impossible. That, and then heal because. Sure, it tends to hurt. <laughs> or be a mode. Go, Java Cut the Carol. Impossible. Mara. Mara Mahida. You mean teaching Mara Agitine? Because I've. I'll admit I've never I've never really ended up using Mara all that often. Oh shit. Well I have Yomi return. It's no use. I guess his Orgia mode is amazing. Her power has dramatically increased. Full power. There is a chance this is missing. She's set up, but it's gonna it's probably gonna dodge it. Which is unfortunate. There's a skill that Mara gets called. Oh! Yeah, that's probably a Persona 3 thing. I've never used Mara in Persona 3. I think the longest I ever had him was in Strikers. I know he's strong, but. Fusing him is so annoying in Persona 3. Because he's the max. He's the max tower, right? So he's like a, a Penta or a Hexafusion. I need to spotlight Yosuke. I guess he's going to die. Cursed. If he attacks, he'll take damage. I take back everything I dish out? Really? Yes, but you're not attacking this turn, so it's fine. How much health does it have? <laughs> well, <laughs> oh seven, I guess <laughs> you'll be brought back. Don't worry, I guess I had I had Yosuke use Greek arm. <laughs> Come on, get, it off. get back up. <laughs> Go, Yamato the Terror. Blast them, And then we'll probably need to heal. And then we'll fight the last FOE in this room. What persona is it gonna try to give me this time? Kali. That's cool. Alright, time to move on. How's my persona? You don't need that move, but.
Uh, ah, uh, mm. Yeah. Oh, yes. I may have actually tripped that and just not realized it. But also, at the same time, did I have him for that long? I know I accidentally... There seems to be something there. Hi. Um, we accidentally had the exactly perfect personas to make the Reaper fight hilariously easy, where uh, everyone else died and I didn't bother to bring any of them back because I could just switch to a persona that completely nulled whatever the Reaper tried to throw at me. So it was... <laughs> It was, it was a, <laughs> an amusing fight, however, it took a little longer than normal. Here I go. Turn one panic. Uh, if he crits... If Shinji crits when he attacks his next turn, that'll be awesome, but that's unlikely. That one's weak against electricity. Go for it. Athena. While Igis sets up. <laughs> See if you land a critical hit. Several people are. <laughs> but as just a regular attack that Mark gets by level up. It's only in Imagine and Persona 3. Got it. Impossible. Understandable. That makes sense. Probably because of how strong it is. gonna use this <laughs> you know what it's free free meteor rahan is free Orpia mode Come on, it off. was it necessary no not, not in any capacity head. however <laughs> impossible it was free <laughs> Oh no. Easy, too soft. <sighs> it's no use. I guess his organ mode is amazing. Fine. The power has dramatically increased. Full power. It could have been worse. Oh wait, why did I make you do alone? It's not panicked. It this is possibly going to miss. Go, Please go. land, that'll be beautiful. No, it's no use. Come on! Come well that's unfortunate. Go, no Missed. Fuck! I didn't get any of the usage out of that link! <laughs> it's no use. Unfortunate. Try the heavy shot. There is no panic circle. Do reapply that, please. It's better that it's only him than it be Yosuke, or worse yet, all three of them for some reason. Because only two people in this party are immune to Athena. curse insta kill. Ow. Okay, there she goes. I just can't That's fine. I am burned to white ash. You're okay, I guess. It's not the end of the world. Go, he's an all coming! It's 
possibly dead anyway? It just sucks that the flame link hit, and then neither Naoto nor uh, Z's attack landed. <laughs> so I got no, I got no usage out of that at all. Yosuke Senpai is cursed. If he attacks, he'll take damage. I take back everything I dish out. Really? It's fine. It's fine. You have nothing to worry about. Yep. That is... Four more? Could humor the party just a little. Man, I rocked that one! He's not wrong. There are only four more, and then I think two locations were... No, three. There are three locations where... The cute baby FOE, which that's subjective. <laughs> Cause I disagree. Um, but there are these four doll FOEs. I should go back into the other room though. So I don't accidentally proc one. Yes! So much money. I still have inventory space to get more Maybe the name is ironic. Maybe. How much inventory space do I have? 40 out of 60, so I've got 20 more. And in these rooms where there are FOEs, <laughs> you don't run into random encounters. You can beat this one now. Do you want to try? It's no cause for concern. Don't do anything this turn. Bye. We have a system. Leave it to me. Sometimes when it whips out Mamudo, things get a little crazy. But what he is for sure is that baby it's needs supervision. Out. Well, yeah, considering how it appears. Or we could just kill it. That one's weak against electricity. Don't take that out of context. <laughs> um, sure to say, right? Okay. Athena. It drops from the ceiling. Hello. And it's probably the. I mean. The way these appear when they jump in your face is kind of scary. This is a really- I like this dungeon, but... You want to both agree and take it out of context? Impossible. <laughs> the baby does not need to be supervised if the baby is dead. Oh man, it's still panicked. Uh, I'm going for it. Understandable. <laughs> watch it be, watch it cure itself. Like, watch it recover from panic right after this. I guess it's all perfectly set up, and then it's like, yeah, I'm gonna just. I'm gonna go back to normal and then dodge the flame link. That'll be oh, awesome. Go, go, yeah, it's just these four, and then the only FOEs on this floor are impossible. I guess has activated her Orgia mode. Go get him. Well, I was right. <laughs> now let's see if. If she'll at least land the flame link. That's all that's all I need. Persona, rise up. Nice. Now it's up to everyone else Go, to land ahead. their hits. Impossible. Which is almost guaranteed with Tempest Slash. Go, Perfect. You are indeed skilled.
And it's gonna give me Vasuki or Kali or Balfagor. It's Vasuki. <laughs> Get out of here. I don't have room for you. You're always so great. Wow. <laughs> Thanks, Rize. I'm pretty sure the MVPs are not your senpai, though. Just throwing it out there. So it's when the lights are on you can get random encounters in here. But when the lights are off... No holds barred. Nothing shows up. Which is... I don't mind that. You are correct. Losing progress here would actually suck a lot. Insurance. <laughs> That's what we'll call that. I completely forgot. This game does sometimes. And then summon redeemed break time. It has been two and a half hours. I should take a break. That would not be a bad idea. <laughs> I could also suspend save, but then I'd still have to make a save state of the suspend. No. Wait. People who don't emulate this. If you make a suspend save and then load the game, and then the game, like, you, like, game over, is the suspend save still there, or does it just, like, delete itself and the game doesn't have any recognition at all that you saved? I don't need that to be answered imminently, but I'm just curious. Also, I am going to take a break here. Thank you, by the way. Also, I can unplug the charger on these now. I was about to find an FOE, right? That's what I was about to do? Hi. We should be able to defeat it. Yes. We should. Impossible. One is better than zero? That's... Impossible. Very true. I don't think one is very streamable with, but it is better than zero. I guess Rusei just said that. She just wants to make sure you that we know. All of them missing. That's horrendously sad. You're okay, Val. Impossible. Senpai, your defense has been reduced. You'll take more damage. Please. Turn three, panic. Turn three, panic would be very cool. Turn three, panic. Please. Impossible. Go, he's not in all coming. Please lend this attack at least. Thank you. You got tangerine mango flavored water? Ooh. I guess his orgia mode is amazing. Her power has dramatically increased. Full power. Also, uh, the doll is dead. <laughs> Persona, rise up! Let's do this. 
the doll is very dead. dead FOE. There are only two lovely dolls left in the entire floor. And right. three cute babies. I'm gonna kill one of them right now. Um, 20? 42. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> like the FOE noticed us. Hi there. You should be able to defeat this one. Are we wrecking it? Are we doing this? Yes. This thing is not that bad. Also, I'm fairly certain it can die to an insta-kill. But I'll still set up like it can't. Minus Nauto trying a Mahama on her three. Impossible. Because it dodges it, meaning it probably resists. Nice. specific mental image but <laughs> I am I am also amused <laughs> the baby has panicked impossible oh, shit crush up caster Come on, then we'll just flame link. It's no yep. use. I wish he could. <laughs> I guess he didn't need to. Oh shit. Okay. As long as it's not I guess. I guess his mode is amazing. Her power has dramatically increased. Full power. Problem is. She may not get the healing she needs. It might also just die. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like that. stream ah for the ranking during stream oh. hey there's a switch you don't, don't need to turn the lights it. on it's fine okay so two lovely dolls that's only his 92 and then two 
cute babies. Four FOEs in total left. You can beat this one now. Do you want to try? Well, we can probably kill her. Very curious to see how much money I get from this. Here I go. There's also it's some awesome. power spots just in case. Because I think they materials from the power spots are better than um that one's weak what you get from normal encounters. We shall see. I wish you could determine their value innately. I, I'd, I'd assume that the FOE pieces sell for more than um, the normal encounters, obviously. But do, are they more than the rare items that you can get from power spots? That's the real question. Probably? But we don't know for sure. And we don't know by how much. Ugh, turn to panic. Free Maggie Dolan. Or Bia mode. Yamato the Peru. If it doesn't recover from panic this next turn, then we're set. Impossible. I guess it's nice. activated her ordea mode. Go get him. Power at maximum capacity. Oh seven, lovely doll. Go, he's an argino coming. Persona! That's so strong. Oh, and I'm 100 percent So Go, long as the gourds aren't immune to fire, I'm definitely going to 100 percent do that to the FOEs that no dear Rahan in them. Uh, in the next dungeon. If only all opponents were this easy. What are we looking at? Everyone's at full HP, they just need some SP. One more doll. <laughs> Nato needs a little bit more because she used Maggie Dolan twice. There we go. Hi. You should be able to defeat this one. It's no cause for concern. This is amazing. Leave it to me. Yesterday it's was like peace. such a mixed bag in terms of like success when it came to money grinding because I game I I got a game over that one time. And I lost some progress, so I was like, oh, I didn't get as much money as I thought I would. And then I spent all that money immediately. That one's weak against electricity. This is good because we've. We will have. Ki we will. I'm going to murder every single FOE on this floor. That game over hurt. It did. It really did. I was. I was. 
But I've either gotten incredibly lucky with these guys using Mamudo, or when the off chance that they do use it, I either have Yomi return to bring Yosuke back, or it only kills Shinjiro. I, that's happened twice now, actually. Where it, it did use the move, but it only got one person, and it wasn't the one who was setting up for doing the most damage. <laughs> Because, like, if it uses Mamudo now and kills Ligus, Shura Tensei, Dragon Cry, and Orgia Mode all wear off. And it's like, ooh, and you have to do all that setup again. If Shinji dies, he just loses the, the um, Heat Riser. And Yosuke, because he's the healer, it really sucks. Okay, well, it's dead. <laughs> Like, Shura Tensei is very strong. They definitely adjusted how crazy it can get in Q2. What? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> The sound effect played. <laughs> then, wait, wait. <laughs> the audio cues are still playing. It just doesn't know what to do visually. <laughs> Jumpies, not a VIP for nothing. <laughs> Go save state. It's an FOE, but I think you can defeat it. We should be able to defeat it. Just the casual. You should save state. It's been two hours. Jumpy. <laughs> Opposite of Radical Six. Blast Too easy. That one's weak against electricity. Because <laughs> now I only have to re-kill two FOEs, not How many are actually on this floor? One, two, three, four, five, six, eighteen. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Yeah, I only have to re-kill two, not twenty-two. <laughs> Oh my god, I've killed 22 FOEs. <laughs> Come, Yamato Takeru. Isnagi no Okami. Blast them, Caster. You don't trust any game for that long without saving. This is true. Oh my god, that crit. Impossible. See, this is what I mean by like, if he had Dragon Cry. Oh, it's an all-out attack, okay. If 
he had Dragon Cry and then did that, that would be terrifying. See, it's, it's when he crits, he's do, he does, like, insane damage. Oh, no, he needs to heal. <laughs> she has, yeah, she's activated Shure Tensei. Orpia mode. Does she need to when her teammate nearly did 2,000 damage with one attack? <laughs> Maybe not, but... <laughs> she can at least do Heavy Shot or something like that. Impossible. Aegis has activated her Orgia mode. Go get him! I shall attack relentlessly. Probably still just gonna link because it's not Persona, rise up. panicked anymore. So, yeah. That reminds me of a great one. Uh, Fisk, when she first played Danganronpa, she was so into the game, and this is when, you know, younger, you're more capable of doing this, you've got the focus for it. She was, like, in high school. Uh, and I know we're not that much older, but I don't think she would have been able to do what she did. But the first time she played, uh... Danganronpa. She was so into the game that You're she played the so game great. straight well. with only taking breaks to, like, eat for over 24 hours. And would have kept going if the PS4 didn't freeze. She had played all of Danganronpa 1 in one sitting. And was halfway through, like, second chapter of Danganronpa 2. Because it was 1 to reload. And the PS4 was like, no, you've had enough. Please. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> yes, I saved again. Um. <laughs> And I wasn't there. I was in I was in Georgia at the time, so it was like she just told me like, yeah, the 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 PS4 stopped working, and I was like, weird. That's never happened to me before. It's a PS4 Slim. It shouldn't have the issues of the of the launch PS4. And she's like, yeah, I was playing the game for like over 24 hours. It's like. Well, there's your answer. Also, what the fuck? Yeah, I could have, but I couldn't. I could, I could, I was not there, so I didn't. I had no idea. Leave it to me. Impossible. Though we did something, we did that a lot of times. Honestly, she played. When Persona 5 first came out, she played it for like four days straight. Obviously not all in one sitting, but it was like, wake up, play Persona 5, pass out, wake up, continue. And it was like, <laughs> I missed a lot of like, the palace stuff because I would fall asleep. But she didn't care, she didn't mind. Wake up, pass out, continue. Yes. <laughs> wake up, play Persona, fall asleep, wake up, continue playing Persona 5. <laughs> it is just like... Because <laughs> it was summer. Or was... Yeah. Yeah, it was summer. Oh. 
Don't do that, by the way. That's not a recommended... <laughs> That's not a recommended lifestyle, you I see. And Marakun dead. And Shinji has Heat Riser Power Charge. If he crits, this will be insane. He's crit. <laughs> I would be so happy if you would do that. Activating Ordeal Mode. Yamato Takeru! Um, how many? Okay, let me count these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There are 25 lovely dolls, one old doll, and three cute babies. So... There are... 29 FOEs on this floor. Continue to work hard. Oh, that's sure a Tensei. Orgia mode doesn't do anything. It's just it lasts three turns and then she overheats. Yeah, I did kill this one. Okay, so one more lovely doll and three cute babies, and we'll have killed every single FOE on this floor. <laughs> Hi. You can beat this one now. Do you want to try? Well, we can probably kill her. So what I'm doing is... Yeah. I use Dragon Cry, and then I use Shura Tensei. And so when she activates... Uh, Orgia Mode, because Shura Tensei is activated, she takes damage from moving that turn. Yosuke's job is to keep Igus alive long enough for her to attack. <laughs> so I have to set up her skills in a specific order, so that way he can actually heal her. Because if she doesn't Dragon Cry first before the Shura Tensei, when she does Dragon Cry, she'll take damage, and then she'll move before Yosuke can heal her and die. It's not... We don't like that. On the floor, but not the planet. Yeah. I'd run out of inventory space. The reason why I do it, though, is the Dragon Cry, Shuratense, and Orgia mode actually stack on top of each other. Impossible. Unlike, like, say you use Moraku Kaja and then somebody else uses Heat Riser. The attack buff from the Heat Riser does not stack with the pre-existing Moraku Kaja. The Dragon Cry, which is basically... Mar- er... 
which is basically Rakakaja, but you also move first, does stack with Shura Tensei, which also stacks with Orgia mode. Which is kind of, um... <laughs> Oh, nope. <laughs> not you. Tarakaja. Right, not Rakukaja, Tarakaja. The one that buffs your attack. <laughs> it's weird. Tarakaja and Heat Riser wouldn't stack, but these stack. And then you use Flame Link with Quadruple or Infinite Link, or a stack of multiple Link skills. And, uh, whatever you're targeting kind of just dies. I guess it's activated her Orgia mode. Like, Go get him. it's going, <laughs> it's going to die this turn. I know this for a fact, because it can't dodge while panicked. I guess goes first. And she is quadruple link. and it had almost full HP. It's no surprise that that particular setup does not work in Q2, because they made sure Tensei do more damage, and also I think certain skills don't stack. Don't up. Also, I guess is a completely different off. class and doesn't learn the correct skills. Like, she still has Orgia mode, but... Um... Skill cards aren't really a thing. I mean, they are, but... She's a defense type, so she doesn't have as high attack as her base anyway. Hey, I think the FOE saw us. So it's kind of like, You should whoa. be able to defeat this one. Have I ever played Deathmark? I have not. Are we doing this? you seven days. Yeah. That seems about right. Like, Danganronpa is not that long of a game, but also if you're doing other things, aside from playing the game, yeah, it would take longer. We're talking about a person who didn't even sleep and ate while playing the game. <laughs> She didn't Go, come to actually beat it in only a few days, it's no but use. she it's not, you know, she would have. But yeah, I'm, I'm fairly certain she beat it in like two or three days, the first game, because she didn't do anything but play the game. That one's weak against electricity. She was definitely awake for more than 24 hours. And then the PS4 bricked itself. Well, it didn't brick itself, but it stopped working. <laughs> it, she had to turn it off. And lost some progress, unsurprisingly.
because she played the game for that long. It is time. Athena. Come, young now, that's not to say that my copy of 1 2 Reload didn't break a PS4. Oh my god, he crit. Beautiful. Do it again. <laughs> Do it again. Ordea mode. One more Mahamal. Activating Ordea mode. Because this thing can get killed by Mahamal. It doesn't null it. But it doesn't really want to die. But yes, my Dino Ball 1 2 reload did actually break someone's PS4. Not my PS4, but someone's. Because, um, 1 2 reload had this thing specifically in Dino Ball 2 where the. The textures for the environments would load, but not their collision, so you could just walk outside of the map into the void. And, um... No. He, I mean, I could probably give him something that would. Like, either an accessory or we could give somebody critical eye. That would... That's honestly tempting. Giving somebody critical eye. Like, Naoto doesn't need media. Or I could give it to Mitsuru. I need to also think about what skills to be giving Mitsuru. I can't make use of Critical Eye for bosses if I You're put it on Naoto. So well... Okay, there are two FOEs. Agus, you have to be careful. You appear to be in pain. There are only two FOEs left. Oh, <laughs> His, his crit is normal, but there are moves that would increase someone's critical to hit damage that I could take advantage of. There seems like, to be Chie has there. critical eye. She learns that one naturally. I found a switch. But Chie is not going in my final party because I, I would have too many physical attackers <laughs> if I did do that. Yeah, that's good enough. We need to go back more. There it is. Or just loan my dog and room copy to the enemies. Hey, we're being followed by an FOE. Why is it facing that way? Um. You should be able to defeat this one. Well, we could probably kill it. It's facing it. the wrong way. <laughs> um. So, in Do for one two reload, the version one. Sometimes the walls would not load their collision. And there was an update that fixed that. That came out right as I was lending one to reload to a friend. Because I was like, I recommended it to them. And I was like, here, I'll just lend you my copy of the game. That way you don't have to buy it. And if it's not for you, you can just give it back. Cool. Well, when I gave it to them, it ran the update. <laughs> and... I don't know if it's because the game itself had save files of us outside of the map or stuck on the stairs because somebody saved there. Um, <laughs> but the update to fix the lack of collision loading in on certain stages during the investigation phase for Danganronpa 2, uh, it bricked, it actually completely bricked my friend's PS4. 
That update killed his PS4, and I have no idea why. I could only speculate. And I was like, I'm so sorry. And he's like, nah, you, there's no way for you to know. How did they have my saves? Yeah, that's that's why I'm thinking it was just like, they didn't have my saves, so it was probably just the update killed it. They either had a launch PS4 or... An, hello, Arahabaki. That's a persona that I don't have to fuse anymore. So yeah, it wasn't because of those saves, it was just the update. I had assume- I assume it's because I had a launch PS4. Because of course, that's launch- that's launch console behavior. An update just kills the device completely. We're being pursued by the enemy FOP. It's an FOE, but I think you can defeat it. Are we wrecking it? Are we doing this? Wait. Oh my god, she did get it. I was like, that was really fast. I wasn't even sure what I had done. Is that now to kill me? Oh, oh, <laughs> Probably turn one. It's no use. But yeah. Dog and Rumble 1 2 reload killed a, uh, killed a PlayStation 4. <laughs> Too easy. That one's weak against <laughs> Because it tried to it tried to download the update. <laughs> isn't such a thing as a PS4 Super Slim, so I'm pretty sure it's the Slim. Because we didn't have the Pro. The Pro was too expensive. Um. Another victim to the kill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Baby has panicked. I thought for a second that the game froze again. It's over. Oh, well, there we go. Well, you know that it, it, it... It's not that the update was, like, malicious, because we were able to update it. We owe this to your That's how I found out that that was what it was. Because I was like, I have no idea why... When I when it first happened, I had no idea why. And then we played it again for our for another friend. Um, and we were... And then it... And we were... Because we wanted to show them the thing. And then every low... Every save that Fisk knew was one where the walls weren't loaded in fully. They were. And the only proof we had was the one where she had saved outside of the map, and the one where she saved on the stairs. And she couldn't move when she was on the stairs, because they were working, and there's an invisible wall to keep you from actually walking onto the staircase. Because <laughs> there's, there's an interactable for the load zone to go up and down. Uh, the floors. So we were like, well, it, there is proof that it was something you could do. <laughs> However, you should have said that, grabbed my copy of the game, and ran away! That would be so mean, though. I wonder if it's just two had problems. I still have enough space for more stuff. I'm going to try to make my way to a power spot that I haven't looked at yet. There are only two on this floor, though, so... Which way is faster? <laughs> I don't think either way is faster, but... Hey, there's a switch here. Oh, because these rooms are dark, then yeah, no, that's fine. We'll make it. We'll make it. I forget if you don't turn the lights off. If, when it's dark, you don't run into enemies. You can just run wherever you want. The power spot there is active again. Shall we investigate? 
Look out. Okay, normal encounter. There's one enemy, but it gets the first strike. Eh. It caught us off guard. It's an Archeron Seeker. Or no. Archeron Seekers are the ones that are in Monad in Persona 3. Shinjiro's this is a Fate Seeker, right? Yeah. Cut. Stay alert. What is it weak to? Ice. So cool. Such a cool looking Go, enemy. It's over. We owe this to your sound tactics. It's interesting because I think because of the windows. There are windows on certain floors. And this is kind of bizarre. I don't know why they did that, but because. <coughs> because we were able to. Like, because before that update, we were able to leave the map entirely. The skyboxes for some of those stages are absolutely ginormous, and I don't really know why. Like, we walked far enough out in the save where we saved outside of the map that when we tried to wander around to find it again, we actually couldn't. <laughs> we walked far enough away for it to completely vanish, and I wonder... <laughs> A part of me wonders if it just actually, like, deloaded, which wouldn't make sense, because it shouldn't be programmed to do that. <laughs> but we walked far enough to the to the skybox that we still couldn't tell if we were at the edge, because everything was pink. Um, because it was that... Which stage? Which, which floor was it? It's, it's the one where... It's not the hospital one, because that was another one that would do that, where the walls wouldn't... It was the... There were, the three stages was the hospital. Something that was pink. I don't remember. I don't think I actually got to that chapter when Fisk was showing me the game. And then the... The, the stage that's behind the vault that's locked started the game. Yeah, I know that stage, but I don't know. <laughs> My reloaded copy deloaded, yeah. <laughs> we'll say that that's what happened. Um. It's just loaded. <laughs> oh, the lights are on in here. Oh, because the. I guess because the FOE chasing you. It would be mean to have random encounters in here. Or maybe that's just, like, the whole gimmick of this place. Oh yeah, the store is just... Why is it marked like that, then? Mark it, like, mark it properly. Can't go through that door. Silly. But, uh... Yeah, we, we could not find the... We could not find the map. After we had walked far enough away. So the skyboxes for the stages in Danganronpa 2 specifically, because one worked normally. Two was the only one that had a handful of stages where the walls didn't have collision. Um, the skyboxes are massive. And because there's no, like, such thing as a kill plane. Because there's no such thing as a kill plane. Because why would there be? In Danganronpa, that wouldn't make sense. You can handle um, this, no problem. All right, here I go. You'd think, you'd think after a while there wouldn't be floor to walk on, but I think the skybox was either so large we never found the edge and fell infinitely, or the skybox itself has collision for some reason and we couldn't tell that we were on the edge of it because everything was the same color. Because, yes, the skybox and the floor plane that you could walk on 
more often than not, were the same, the exact same color. Or the same moving texture, at least. So it's like, you really couldn't tell where you were. That save is literally just a sea of pink. That went disappointing. You couldn't tell if you were looking up, down, or straight ahead. Everything was the exact same. It's just like. <laughs> okay, a few more normal encounters, and we'll have a full inventory. I do. I'd I'd fill it up with power spots. There's only two on this floor. Scary. Your orders, senpai. So it's whatever. It's been a while since we've heard the normal battle theme, guys. <laughs> Settled that quickly. This guy's grown too. Oh my god. I've been in here long enough that Masakato leveled up. Pink Floyd, more like pink. Please remember that you can only hold a limited amount of items. Okay, she's letting us know that we're almost filled up. So. One more encounter. This should either give me more than enough or exactly what I need. Depends. I think both of them can drop two to three things. But I think the Rainy Brothers need to be poisoned in order to drop the third. Poisoned or cursed? You settled that quickly. My persona is steadily improving. Paralyzed might also be what it is. Okay, we've got four things. Nothing I fight will we'll go over, so we will leave. And I'm gonna save. And then we're gonna see how much this sells for. Bloody charts sell for the same. Old pacifiers are only 7,100. Bloody gauze, which is the normal or the second tier rarity. Um, from the power spots are 7,000. Bloody bandage, which is the most basic, is 6,900. And the normal enemy stuff is like 500, 400. Beautiful. Unfortunately. He's good. And then... Uh, and everyone has the... Everyone in my current party has the best gun that I can. Uh, or gun. Weapon. I was looking at Nasha's weapons. Best weapon that they could have. Uh, armor, however. I guess needs 93. That's not happening anytime soon. And Mitsuru not only needs a better weapon, but her Empress fur is 137,000. But that's probably the last time I'm going to do that, even though that's the first time that I've successfully done that. Join you. Dragon Cry is not that bad. It's not that expensive, however, I want to do Roads of Light first. I want to give priority to that. Goodbye, Atis. Um... I'd have to summon on Yoki again. Grab that. Rebel Spirit is way too expensive. I 
I can nap, drag, and cry. But... I'm gonna see if I can fuse Earth. I cannot. His Uriel is not <laughs> this high of a level. Well, I should have a spot for him. He is... 52. How much does it take to grab the skill card off? 175. I can't afford that. But you know what I can do? I can grab Dragon Cry. A combination that does not use Ariel, preferably. Or Ishtar. Uh, I want to use one that uses Odin. Or Anyoki. That would, this one works. And then... Hmm. Oh, hi, Yoshitsune. How many personas do I have now? Uh, I should probably still fuse something. Not sure, Tensei. Uh. I guess end shot. Oh, it's a fusion fail. I can't skip it. Well, that's unfortunate. Fuck are you? Oh, it seems to have gone differently than planned. Yeah, I wonder why. Zhao Gongan! I'm sorry? You. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Sure. I'll take it! <laughs> Thanks! I've never seen a fusion fail in this game before. Bye bye. I guess I fused so infrequently that it just never really happened. <laughs> uh. 
Um... I'm sorry. I'm going to do that. Unfortunately... Yeah, no, that doesn't really... Maybe he should have Falgonga. Okay. Because he's still got Mediorama. But uh, Yosuke with God's hand does not work, so... <laughs> Uh, probably that, because the null art bind. We can have real, and it doesn't really matter what Rise has equipped. She can have Odin for now to give him some EXP. is this. Goodbye, Assault Shot. Really don't need Medium Stab. And there we go! Roads of Light. That's going on Juno. And then... Hmm. Do I bring Nauta to this next fight? What's Roads of Light? Every step taken in a labyrinth restores a little SP. He is weak to wind, ice, fire. Also, hello, Jeppo. Uh... <laughs> Nauta does not work here. That's fairly obvious. the festival dudes, which I may switch that. Kanji would work, I think, but if Shinji has Dragon Cry, then I may as well use Shinji. Oh yeah, Impure Rage, except I'm not, that's not really the squad that I'm using <laughs> anymore. Do I bring it to Or do I leave Naoto on? She really doesn't have any skills. Like, she has her main four, and Mind Charge Bufudine would be really good. Punishment, I believe, is a pass? No. Punishment is the bind remover. Which me makes me wonder if she should have a bind applying skill. Like agility, art, and uh, forget the physical bind is what that one's called. Oh yeah, we can bring Mitsuru. She was considered versatile. In Q2. Okay. 
so she doesn't need to follow me. Naoto has the germanium ring on. But I think... Because this is a boss. If I want her to do a lot of damage, she needs to have the chakra ring. It's better that Yosuke doesn't get a, 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 any status ailments. Subpersona. That could pair with Tentarafu. I just realized I have two people that use that move. Maybe I shouldn't bring Mitsuru as the final boss. But no, because I need the. I like the mind charge. Yeah. Am I going to need items for this fight? Money to get her. I'll take the singular antibiotic gel and all of my med kits. Sure. Just to be sure. Her best armor she can afford is not better than what she currently has equipped. She has a talisman cape. Which isn't bad. She's got more defense than some of the other characters that I've that I was using before I bought their better stuff. And then she has the Thunder Ring. Yeah, she should be fine. She has pretty decent stuff on. That would probably be a little low... ...for where we're at, but it's not... ...bad. It's not the end of the world. Alright, so... Oh, actually, wait. Um, there's one other thing. Sacrifice fusions. There are still some characters that I'm not really using, right? No, never mind. It's only Hachiman. Won't do that. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. What's the fastest way? This way. No, it's not this way. Is fusing still normal? Is there anything? It's... It's still the same. Sacrifice fusions don't cost money. Like they do in, um... Commencing annihilation. Oh, this is so sad. I think he has. Somebody has. Or somebody is supposed to have Mamadoon on them. Okay, just try that, I guess. Trumpeter. Forgot about Trumpeter. Well okay, cool. Whereas in Q2, it costs money every subsequent sacrifice from the same persona. Um, in this game, it's always free, but you can't sacrifice a sub-persona to give Isn't EXP to a primary a persona spot? or main persona. It can only be given to other sub-personas. Which I think is a fine trade-off, personally. I don't think it... 
I don't think it's world ending that you can't. <laughs> Give it to your main personas. Oh, jeez. This place is super creepy. Careful! Everyone, I'm sensing a powerful presence further inside. <sighs> so the guardian for this place has shown up. For what it'll be this time. Alright, day nightfall. Sleep well. Doesn't matter. All that matters is that we win. <laughs> I want to see some nurses! Jeez, isn't anyone here taking this seriously? Uh, is it gonna be a ghost? I hope it's not a ghost. But it probably will be. Hmm. Calm down, Ray. Ghosts don't exist. Not real except for our conceptions of them. Oh, okay. Hey, Chie. Are you hanging in there, okay? Hey. Uh, Chie, did you hear what I... Um... Bye, guys! I'm out of here! <sighs> no? <sighs> yeah, no. Poor Chie. I will save. I don't think I need to, but I will. Yes. Let's go! There's no guarantee that's going to work, so just mind charge. He has Dragon Cry now, what am I doing? <laughs> oh, but if he uses it first, he goes first, so yeah, no, just power charge. Because that's how that works in this one. Mario is in Q2, I think. If you do it after the person who uses Dragon Cry, after goes first. Oh, wait, they're both gonna do that anyway. Too easy. The doctor's grown stronger. The blue nurse has support capabilities. Hey, I guess now Dragon Cry? Yeah. She's gonna get powered up. She's slower than us, though, so... Or she's faster than us, though, so Panic Circle. Sure, Tensei... He doesn't have a move that cures status ailments, but it's fine. Oh no, he is faster than Hitsuru. What? Oh, I got one of them. Crush him, caster. <laughs> That's fine. I guess has been cursed. Attacking will cause her damage. Heat razor yourself. It is quite formidable. What does RN or ML mean? I have no idea. I think Light Wave is actually stronger than God's Hand. Yay! 
Yeah, just kill that one. She's... Yeah, she's Dragon Crysher Tensei. That turn. Activating mode. Hopefully her curse wears off? Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Alright, time to move on. That must be what the Guardian was protecting. <laughs> we didn't get any of, like, the mid-battle talk, either. So we missed the part where Do the dialogue got really like, oh, no. <laughs> Unfortunately. I mean, we were definitely overleveled for that fight. <laughs> but the, <laughs> the crit one-shot, I can't. It seems to be a lock of hair. Yikes, that's kinda... How horrific! Fitting for a haunted house. It's beautiful. Yeah, you're right. Looks like it's about the length of Yukiko's. Oh my god. Oh. <sighs> hmm. Hair tends to get tangled and damaged when you grow it out long, but this hair is really pretty. Whoever this hair belonged to must have been proud of it. It looks like they took very good care of it. Proud. Oh, the bell. Bell struck. <laughs> Help. <laughs> the bell struck that goes. Will another of the locks on the door in the velvet room come off? The end's in sight. Mm -hmm. I'll keep fighting. For Sensei and Raychan's sake. Wh who's that? Someone's coming. They're calling for me. Calling? I don't hear anything. You're not just letting this place get to you. Wh who is it? No, I don't want to go. Raychan, please calm down. There is no one here. No, can we please go? Let me out of here. I don't want to be here anymore. I'll be a good girl. I've had it with this hospital and school stuff. I want to go home where everyone is. I want to go back together. And that's what we'll do. Yeah, don't worry. I'm sure we'll go back together. But you're the one who made this school, Ray. Me? Huh? I've remembered a little more. You wished for this school and created it. Are you truly trapped here? I don't know. I don't know, Zen. Raychan. Zenkun, I recall you saying that Raysan's belongings are hidden in the depths of the labyrinths. If, as you claim, Raysan created this school, then the labyrinths we've traversed and the large shadows within them are connected to her. Extrapolating even further, it's possible that Raysan created all of these things. If that's true, maybe we were wrong about that someone from the start. What I mean is, maybe there's no third party here besides Zen and Raychan. Mm -mm. Well, we already know, so that can't be. Can't say for sure, though. Oh, emulator lag. So what? 
Ray created this place, made guardians to protect stuff, but now she's lost her memories and wants out? It raises more questions than it answers. Hmm. This isn't the last labyrinth yet. We're still missing pieces of the puzzle. Yeah, the next one should be the last. The rest of the blanks should get filled in there. Yes, I agree. Mm. Let's return to the Velvet Room. Agreed. What should we do? Leave. <laughs> One of the locks is about to come off. The lock has disappeared. Only one lock remains. As we thought, another lock is gone. Only one remains. The next labyrinth will be the last. Or will it? The last one is on the third floor. It seems to be at the Inaba Pride exhibit. All right. I want all of you rested and prepared. Let's disband for now. Okay. Everyone goes their separate ways through the hallway after hearing Mitsuru's words. Hey, Senpai. Wanna go somewhere after this? Just you and me, of course. Oh, that reminds me. Kanji, did something happen with Yukiko Senpai? <laughs> that dungeon. <laughs> Well, hopefully, should things... Well, no, I need money. But, uh... It's already fully mapped out, so... I don't need to go anywhere that I don't want to, like, get a shortcut activated for. And I could probably very easily fight most of the FOEs. Probably. Huh? What do you mean, something? Yukiko-senpai keeps saying... Kanji-kun's a really nice guy, and stuff like that. Does she have something on you? <laughs> that little... Nah, it's nothing. Nothing at all! Really? Okay, then. But there is something bothering you, right? You've been lost in thought ever since you came here. That's not like you, you know? Huh? How did you... It's written all over your face. So stop overthinking it and just go for it head on, Moranji. Quit calling me that! Just go for it like you always do. You'll be fine. If you can handle this in a way you're comfortable with, it'll work out. <sighs> yeah. You're right. Alright then, I'm gonna go do this. We'll pick up your bones if you mess up. It'll cost you though. Shut up. <laughs> After Kanji stands in front of Ken, he starts fidgeting. <laughs> fidgeting. Hey, Ken. Kun. Son. Yes? Uh, come here. Huh? Kanji pulls Ken away somewhere. What should we do? Ken Kun's being kidnapped! Nah, that guy looks a lot scarier than he is. Also, what the fuck, Fuka? Still, didn't that make you curious, partner? Hmm, I think... I think we should just leave them be. I'm not gonna bother them or anything. I'm just a little worried since I was kind of involved in this. Come on, let's go. Kanji's under our wing, right? All right then, it's decided. Okay. What? I had first dibs. Jeez. You better report back every last detail, okay? Just then, Zen comes walking your way while glancing behind him. Kanji was taking Ken away. Does he intend to eat him? Why does everyone... Why? What? What? <laughs> In what way do you mean that? Hmm? Uh, we're gonna lose sight of them. Zen, you come with us too. What is it? Is it an emergency? No. In front of the handcrafted workshop. Glancing inside, you can see Kanji and Ken alone in there. Why have I been driven out? Did I mismanage my duties in some way? Why aren't we going inside? Is it necessary to peer in on them from the door? Shh! They'll notice us! But that's my question. Why do we not want to be noticed? Just be quiet. Of course we can't let them know. 
I see. Doesn't explain anything. Um. Give me your shoe. Your shoelace is ready to snap again after that quick fix from before. B but. Come on, just hand it over. Kanji snatches away Ken's shoe. Ah, your foot must have grown. It's putting too much stress on the laces. Get new shoes when you get home. Oh, yes. I wonder if it'll snap even if I use a sewing machine. Uh, might as well just knit new ones. You can knit? You want to try it too? You need two laces so we can each crochet one. Ah! Kanji pulled out a crocheting needle from his jacket. Those look like knitting needles, but I'll, I'll believe you, game. Huh? You make the first loop, like this, and then put it through here. Oh. Uh... Like this? Two of them begin crocheting in silence. Um... Do you like knitting? Oh wow, those are just really long crochet needles. Got it. Yeah. I come up with designs in my head and turn them into real things on my own. How is that not fun? Hmm. On top of that, knitting helps clear my head. I ain't that smart, so I lose track of what's important. Knitting's good for times like that. Hmm. Huh. Oh. Outside the door. This is pretty surreal. What does Kanji mean when he says that? Uh... Knitting is pretty dull. Huh? It's so tedious. But my mom did this for me. She knit me a scarf. But the other kids at school said it was lame to wear something their parents made. So I never wore it. I lied and told my mom I wasn't cold. In the end, I never wore it. Not once, until my mom died. <sighs> my mom's death was ruled an accident. But... That's not true. I hate the one who did it. But lately, I don't know anymore. I want to avenge my mom, but I feel like I can't go through with it. Hey, you're trying to solve a murder case, right? What if... What if the culprit is a good person? What are you gonna do? What if they didn't do it on purpose? I talked with them. As much as I had to. I'm scared too. What if I do talk to them and I end up concluding there's nothing that could have been done? What if I still can't do anything about my hatred for them? <sighs> you don't want to hate or not hate, right? You can't forgive yourself for feeling either way. But you know, that's all up to you. In the end, you're free to choose whether or not to hate them. It's up to me? Just take your time. If you can't figure it out, then sort things out. Do stuff like this to clear your mind. Because if you keep fooling yourself, you'll pay for it later. Lying to yourself's pretty tough. I know. Because I was the same way. You too? My senpai taught me to not lie to myself and accept what I am. It took some guts, that's for damn sure. But once I did, what seemed like a dead end turned out to be a, a big, wide open space. Thanks to that, I enjoy every day. I don't feel bad about stupid me doing stupid things. When I watch you, you seem so cramped, like your shoes. You could be more free, you know? Free. You're free to think whatever you want. No one else has your answers anyway. That's why you gotta think for yourself. Myself. Sorry. I bet this sounds like some teacher lecturing you. I'm probably just pissing you off. Ah! Yeah, it does. <laughs> I knew it. I ain't the type to tell people this stuff. <laughs> So, are you done crocheting that shoelace? N not yet. Don't look. Man, you suck. S shut up. Outside the door. Looks like there's nothing to worry about. Let's scram before they notice us. Man, that Kanji's a surprisingly thoughtful guy. It's no surprise. Oh, right. 
He taught Nanako-chan how to knit dolls too, huh? It's not what I'm talking about, but yes. Hmm. When will I be allowed back in? <laughs> that was nice. Ah! <laughs> Boring labyrinths. Uh, Next one's the Unibaprat exhibit, right? Seems kind of different from the other labyrinths, huh? To be honest, it sounds boring. Hey, don't you think so too? We don't know what'll happen yet. <laughs> sure, it was nice. You like having feet. <laughs> it's just like it's it just further nails the the. The feeling that I'm getting when I when I see Q, and they're like, no, yeah, it was canon. <laughs> they wasn't at first, but then they changed their mind on it. It's like even though we're doing side four, and it's supposed to it's supposed to focus more on the feelings and personalities and interactions of the four cast, it's not really. <laughs> Like, yeah, it, a good portion of it was focusing on Kanji's feelings and Yosuke's feelings about, like, how they're after a murderer. But then Ken... kind of, like, took, took enough of an interest in what they planned on doing that Kanji got the feeling, like, he's not doing... He's not asking that just because he's a kid who's curious and doesn't understand. He's asking these because he wants... He actually wants an answer to a question that he's not asking. And he spends a decent chunk of the game thinking about how am I going to get him to talk about it? Because he clearly has to. Bottling stuff like that up is not a good idea. But it's still hyper-focusing on, like, a, on a character from Persona 3, not Persona 4. And also it's about... <laughs> it's about Ken. Ah! Yes, this is the last labyrinth. Make sure you're careful when you enter. Jeez. It wasn't serious enough up to now. A haunted house? Group dating? That's going overboard, even for a festival. If you start saying that kind of stuff, then this entire place could be considered a joke, too. Then... Ray comes walking by herself. Or, I'm sorry, bye-bye herself. Walking by by herself. That's what they meant. I wouldn't have written it like that, because it confused me, but that was technically correct. <laughs> oh, my beautiful Ray-chan, are you out on a walk? Hmm. Sun went away somewhere. He disappeared while I was out shopping for a tiny bit for takoyaki and popcorn and Frankfurt sausage on a stick. That sounds like you wandered off instead of Zen disappearing somewhere. What? Really? Uh... You always seem like you're having fun. <laughs> I guess this amount of playing around is right for Ray-chan. Hmm? Laying flounders? Perfect timing! <laughs> nope, too bad. That's not it. <laughs> That's not perfect timing at all. I haven't had any filleted flounders. <sighs> I personally wish that you'd move away from the flounder business. <laughs> Come on. Anyway, the next labyrinth is the last one, right? Yes, that should be the case. <laughs> all right, then let's fire ourselves up. Okay, I'll turn on my serious mode switch too. All right, and I'll be going it. full throttle. I'll hold nothing back. We're gonna win this with everything we got. Woo! The carnivore within unleashed. She devours all who stand before her. Her name is Chie Giant Satanaka. What the? Don't think, feel, and go for broke. Uh... What's starting up here? You're so cool, Chie-chan! Yeah! And you can't forget about this man! Will he be the devil or our savior? Z the Great Beastie! I'm the guardian of Yasuo Inaba! <laughs> you're going to go with this too! Oh, wow. wow! You're cool too, Zikun! <laughs> Alright, let's do this! Yeah. Well, you got a point. Considering how far we've come, we'll just have to give it our all. Yes. Wonderful. Kanji is indecipherable. 
bunch of boys are in a solemn, silent group. They're not eating anything. What? Hi. Oh, Zizan. What's up? Mm. Um, I was just thinking about what it actually means to be free. Mm. Referring to what Kanji said earlier. <laughs> free to think what you want. Mm. Oh, he said that. Huh? You were right there listening? Sorry. Yeah, we heard it. We were just worried about you. Worried. Hmm. I didn't entirely understand what Kanji said either. That is why I wish to consider it some more. <laughs> yes, you're right. There's no need for us to rush to an answer. Yeah. <sighs> but I already came to a conclusion. Huh? Protein instead of flour. Are you shitting me? Hear Shindra's voice from down the hall. <gasps> yeah. Yeah, don't you think it's a good idea? That way you can lower your starch intake and... For no, dumbass. Loud. How do you think that's gonna taste? <sighs> They're at it again. Huh? Where'd Ken go? Ken is hiding under a desk for some reason. <sighs> what does it matter? It all ends up in your stomach. <sighs> Remember you said that, because I'm gonna feed you every awful tasting thing I can think of. What? what? That's not fair! Shinjiro and Akiko's voices trail off in the distance. Hey! Hey, you can come out now. <sighs> okay. What was that all about? I... I want to change. <sighs> I don't want to always be running away like this. I... Everyone remains silent. What should you do? What the fuck are these options? Why the third one? I'll just pat him on the shoulder. Zizan. I'm sorry if I made things awkward. I just want to change. Yeah. Can change, Ken. You can be anyone you want to. Debbie-san. <sighs> I can't tell you just yet. There's something I'd like you to hear one day. I'll be different by then, so when the time comes, I want you to listen. <sighs> okay, I'll be waiting. <sighs> There's no need for you to rush. I'm not really sure what's going on with you, but the moment you actually want to change, that's a sign that you've already started. So there's nothing to worry about. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm? The moment you actually want to change is a sign that you've already started? <laughs> that goes for you too, Zen. Hmm. Ah! And then they all forget and that scene happens on October 4th anyway. <laughs> it hurts. The food court. Naoto is sitting by herself with a serious expression. Oh. Oh, Z Senpai. Uh, what's wrong? Not quite. No, I was just lost in thought. I was thinking about what Zenkun said earlier. How Reisan was the one who created this school. Neither Zenkun nor Reisan, who said she wasn't aware of it, seemed to be lying. What caused the two of them to lose their memories? And why did our paths cross? Hmm. We'll find out soon. Hmm. I'm starting to see the bigger picture, but now is not the time to speak up about it yet. If the next labyrinth is the last, I'm certain everything will come to light there. Let's brace ourselves for the finish. Parted ways with a reticent Naoto. Is there anything to sell? Huh. Probably not, right? Oh. I ran into a single enemy. I also didn't need any of my healing materials, which is kind of funny. I wonder why. Oh yeah, Shinji one-shot the boss. <laughs> That's why. Any requests? What? Probably not. There are, never mind. 
we've already beat the old doll, but you know it'll do it again, why not? Ever since coming to this world, I've worked non-stop on healing, research, requests, and going to stalls. My sister has been stuck in the velvet room as well. Oh, what pitiful lives we sisters lead. Wink. What pitiful lives we sisters lead. Elizabeth continues stealing a glance at you. That is why I have decided to take some time off to fully appreciate this culture festival. Hmm. I wish to have you as our guide. Hmm. Still, such desire cannot be held back for long. If you leave this request be for too long, then my sister and I will sadly go about our wild merrymaking. That is, if you are curious what the reward will be, I suggest that you complete it sooner rather than later. Okay. And defeat the old dog. Thank you for accepting. This quest is... A gooey substance of proof of having defeated. May luck be with you. again I don't need Naoto for the old doll um so yeah I mean I have the sub persona with panic circle on Mitsuru so should be fine Emphasis on should. The only problem is I'm gonna run into normal the stuff. Is low. A slime shadow has appeared. Your command. Drop him. Okay, just rush no. this. Done here. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Didn't even have to. That was quick. It was. I wonder why. Would have been faster with now, so, but. A power spot. Yes, but we don't need it. It's okay. Bother showing up. Mm. Give me a second. There we go. Look back on screen. doll, not the lovely doll. For all intents and purposes, I should bring Nauta to this. <laughs> oh crap! Whoops. <laughs> it's fine! I'm sure you can defeat it. I don't need it. Don't take it lightly. It's still an FOE.
Does know Dirahan though. That enemy is weak to slash attacks. We don't know if it's weak to ice, but I'll I get the feeling that it resists. We'll see who kills it first. Itsuru being the slowest is so Leader, weird. Your defensive power has decreased. Be careful. We shall see. Activating mode. <laughs> ah! They did not crit. 900 damage. 980 damage. Attack normally. Persona, rise up. Ow. Persona. <laughs> ah. No, well, it's dead. Mitsuru's going to use, like, a basic attack, and it's going to either almost die or die. Of course, if you used Dira on there, that would have been horrible. Oh my god, this has way more HP than the others. I missed. If it Dirahans here, I will be so scared. Wait. Or else the curse will deal damage to you! It's not using Dira. It doesn't know Dira. Oh. This thing totally did. I'm playing on normal. I played on easy last time. Does it have different moves depending on the difficulty? Well, that didn't do what I wanted it to. Is that the trade-off for playing on certain difficulties? Okay, there she goes. I just can't move until she's cooled off. Awaiting systems reboot. I don't think he's gonna pull this Meteorahan off in time. It definitely resists ice. I mean, if it doesn't know it, then I'm not gonna use it. But I'm, I'm, all of my setups have been centered around the idea, the concept that it could heal itself. Hi, welcome back, Corey. Bizarre. Oh wait. 
It's dark in here. Why spend money at the nurse's office when you can just do this? Or... I have the wrong people on. I do. I have the wrong people on. That's only... If... Fuka is the la the labyrinth navigator. She is currently our party navigator. That's unfortunate. <laughs> with these two, though. After you talked to Elizabeth, she went to go get Margaret. Pardon the wait. I went to fetch my sister. I do apologize for the odd request. We wish to explore a little as a breather, but we are unfamiliar with such places in the real world. Well then, where shall we head first? Who did we prioritize? Elizabeth, who do you think this man is? He is an extraordinary master of bonds. Even our master admires his skill. I assume. Hence, this master of bonds will help us understand the implications of our words and facilitate our relaxation. Ah, very impressive indeed. I shall leave it all to you. By the by, additional rewards will be prepared in accordance to how well you meet our expectations. Hmm. Well then. Let the two I remember begin. this being the case, and you you had to like pick one or the other. Go you game land! What an enticing ring that has! Is that so? Hmm. I believe some manner of sport is going on over there. Ring toss? Are these rings tossed to rend the air? Toss them at the poles. Do you mean that you toss the rings to split the poles in two? Oh, I've heard of this before. All physical objects have a certain pressure point. <laughs> Supposedly, striking this point can shatter objects of any size instantaneously. Perhaps I may be able to learn that skill here. Please excuse me. Hmm. Always the uninhibited child. You could put it that way, but she sometimes acts in ways that I don't understand. <laughs> Still, no matter how much we have to indulge her whims, you just can't bring yourself to hate her. I assume she wishes to expand her horizons. Her target of interest is rather mercurial. When you take your eyes off her, she immediately disappears somewhere. Hmm. Hmm. I'm surprised you're the type who would trample into a girl's heart. Darn. Well, I could tell you, you know, about Elizabeth. Should have done ellipses. More about what Elizabeth is doing in the world you and I came from. But if I told you that, I'm certain it would leave you rattled. It might even affect your journey. That is why someday, when the time is right, I'll tell you then. And then she proceeded to not tell us at all. And she just kind of shows up out of nowhere in Arena. <laughs> mm hmm. What could that be? Conned Film Festival? C canned. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be canned. Roast the Yasu Inaba illusion? Roast? Does this have some relation to meats? What are you waiting around for? It's about to begin. Where did you come from? You do get around. Well then, we should go inside. Yes. A girl working in a slaughterhouse who falls in love with a ghost. Oh my, this won't do. Something is caught in my eye. I have a handkerchief. Oh, don't mind me. In 
must be because of the dust in that classroom. But you truly are the fabled master of bombs. <laughs> I, I messed up with Margaret earlier, so... Hmm. Uh, has the dust affected you as well? No, I was only lost in thought. There was absolutely nothing to gain from that movie. So I was wondering if that was the auteur's intent. That won't do, dear sister. Whatever else we might be, we are still girls. The proper reaction would be, <gasps> Oh, that was like totally true love. <sighs> Aww. That was like totally true love. Are you having me on, sister? Rushing to praise true love and then sobbing over it is the epitome of femininity. You have lost me, Elizabeth. Uh, were you channeling Marie just now? Marie is an extremely intriguing person. Especially those internal screams etched into her stationery. So many words we couldn't have imagined. They're extremely deep, yet they have a mysterious power which makes my heart itch so that I want to rip it out. I must agree. She refers to herself as the Little Mermaid, after all. Indeed. A touch of bitterness fits her mood, like the distance to eternal night. My strings are cut. I am a marionette. My mind is eroded and I've passed on. My crushed throat gives an eerie sound. Wind passes through it with a sad wheeze. How cold the air is tonight. How arrogant this world is. How pure this blood of mine is. Infinitely. Eternally. I'm glad they're having fun. Yo, man. For some reason, the two of them began a poetry contest. <sighs> that should do. So, what's your verdict? Between my sister and I, which of us expressed more pathos? We'd like to hear your opinion. Margaret. Uh, that still, it did feel rather good. But we cannot be satisfied by what we just produced. A girl is nourished by elation. The thumping of one's heart. I believe that we are somewhat, oh, no, severely lacking in this. It's possible that our femininity has been so depleted that our pathos can't easily rise from within. Uh, I, uh, that is a possibility. I don't sense any of this elation when I'm with Theo, our master, there. or Marie. <laughs> but what is there to do about it? Velvet room attendants. Here comes the ultimate choice. Ultimate choice? Person A is asked the question Who would you rather spend an entire day with? Person B or person C? It's set up so that both the one being chosen and the one making the choice experience the heart thumping. Heart thumping. Hmm. Margaret is looking at you. Well then, person A. I ask you this, from your point of view, who would be more desirable to spend a day with? Myself or Elizabeth? This is a very crucial choice. No comment is not the correct answer. I chose Margaret last time. Well, I'm gonna choose her again. <laughs> oh, thank you. I find spending time with you to be enjoyable as well. Perhaps this is the meaning of the aforementioned heart thumping. What could this be? It feels as if my chest is at unrest. I feel like I chose Elizabeth as the Persona 3 protagonist. It seems I've neglected my own health despite being a nurse. Either way, this has completely spoiled the fun memories I've held until now. It's best that I forget everything about what just happened. Mm, maybe I should have chosen Elizabeth. Well then. Concludes our request for now. Thank you for your efforts. It is now time to announce the results. 
We will end by delivering a verdict on how much your escorting skills left our hearts thumping. I will go first. <laughs> I feel as if I was a bit neglected. To think that reality would fail so utterly to live up to the rumor. Oh, uh, so I didn't do perfect. I must give you an F this time. I hope you but how do you... yourself. I was thinking, do I have to balance them? Face. I'm really not sure. Well then, whether it was because I was in need of a break or because of your skill at escorting us. Either way, I enjoyed my time here more than I would have thought. I give you a hundred percent. At the same time, I feel like Thank trying you. to perfectly balance them would make them both think, eh. Well, I... Elizabeth? Yes, sister? I don't know what kind of fate brought us to this world, but it brought me joy. Joy, you say? Yes. I was able to see you. It's been a while. A while? You're a straightforward, reckless, stubborn girl who always bends others to your whims. You haven't changed since back then. Sister? Even if we are to be separated someday, no matter what fates we strive for, we'll always be sisters. Hmm. I don't truly comprehend what you're saying. But my heart feels overwhelmed with emotion. Why don't we sing that song like we used to? Ah, uh, yes. Is that it song. the... I'd love to hear it. To grant your passionate request, yep. here is the Long Nose song. First ever sang during, I think it's the answer, in Persona 3, but she keeps singing it. Velvet, velvet, oh velvet, velvet. My master, my master has, a has a large, large nose. nose. My ears. <laughs> that was truly artistic. Thank you for listening. The intentional not singing in tune with one another, or even the exact same words in any capacity. And refusing to harmonize at the same time. Brought a tear to my eye. <laughs> well then, let us return. Yes, indeed. The two of them seem very satisfied. Pathos recorder? I truly expect some exciting times together through the various chance occurrences. This is something that we sisters have selected for you. You may have it. And I've been given a token of gratitude to pass on from my sister as well. Please take this with you. Oh my god! Perhaps someday in the future, we sisters would consider ourselves fortunate to spend time with you again. Aeon Rain. Oh no. <laughs> is is it the same as Aeon Rain in Persona Q2? No. What will you use it for? I have decided. This will be your reward. She doesn't even know what she wants it for. I'll take the red hair pin. I'd only be trading Mitsuru for Naoto, so yeah. the same, but... So now, when I muster Impure Reach, 
There we go. I'm not fighting FOEs. She'll take the chakra ring. And I don't need the red hairpin. So I will sell that. Huh. What is A on Rain? Is it good or is it bad? It's good in Q2. I just get the feeling that it's not as powerful in this game. Medium stab attack all enemies. Yeah, that's not the same. However... I wonder if I should just use it. I don't know if it'll get any use from Z, but I could put it on Naoto, just to see. Yeah, let's just put it on Naoto for now. Now let me look. Status, Naoto. Yeah, it just says medium stab attack all enemies. It's definitely not the same as Q2's, because it's like, it has a chance to hit two to nine times, I think is specifically what it's phrased as doing. And that's very strong. <laughs> Aeon Rain in this game, by comparison, is fairly normal. All right, it is 9 p.m. So I'll probably wrap up here. Next week, we'll be going into the fourth labyrinth. That'll be exciting. Ah. And I'll probably grind cash. How many more streams until we finish PQ? That really depends. Inaba Pride Exhibit is by far the longest labyrinth normally. And even though it's all completely mapped out, it's still laid out in such a confusing way. You know, carrying the flame, avoiding the uh, festival dudes, FOEs, as well as going through all the gates in the correct order. I know I've labeled those at least correctly, I believe so at least. Um, but there's no telling. I remember uh, most of Q1 side three was Inaba Pride exhibit. That was definitely the longest. I wasn't in the clock tower for nearly as long. Because I believe it is six floors, five not counting the boss floor, and so many one-way shortcuts, so many, like, going down a floor to go up a floor in a different location, like, finding stairs that'll go back up, um... FOEs that chase you and you're, unless you're carrying the flame. FOEs that move faster if you're carrying the holy flame. It's... it's... quite... a labyrinth. <laughs> so, it'll probably take... a minute. <laughs> a hot minute. But, uh... For now, we will say goodbye to YouTube, because tomorrow is Saturday, which means it should be Skyrim, should things go 
All right. So not next week, but the week after. Most likely. Like, depending on how quickly I make progress in the Enoba Pride exhibit will weigh down on on what I, it is, because I still need... I still need certain skill cards uh, applied to certain personas. And I still want... Uh, Mitsuru to have some more skills. I still would like specific personas for Igus to really get the most out of Shura Tensei or Gia mode with Dragon Cry as well. Um, but like, I don't think I need anything particularly specific for Z or myself, my character. Um, Yosuke is practically done. His skills are kind of backwards, but that, that should be fine. Naoto's always been done. Shinjiro's getting a slightly new setup with Dragon Cry. Oh. And I guess, so long as she has a sub persona with quadruple link or higher and a link skill, she's probably going to. She's probably where she needs to be. I could just also make her more broken if I stacked the link skills with one another. So, yeah, it's. We, we've pra we've practically got our final team, but I should probably start thinking about getting the best armors for uh, the characters who have yet to have them, which are Aegis and Mitsuru. And then I need to look up how to get the materials needed for everyone's best weapons, and then decide whether or not I'm going to actually get them all, because um, I'm pretty sure they're also 400,000 apiece, and that'll be fun. But also, can you imagine going to the final boss with... Two people with Dragon Cry and high damage output, plus one of them's using Shura Tensei with Orgia mode. And they have their best weapons! That would be cool! <laughs> but it's not absolutely necessary, because I'm only playing on a, a difficulty higher than the one that I was on when I first beat the game. Because I wanted to beat the game in a reasonable amount of time. So I did not choose hard. <laughs> And hey, this is, this is probably, like, other than the duration that it took to beat, like, the dancing games, this is probably one of the shorter series, for sure. But yes. Goodbye, YouTube. Farewell.